Did we leave off in the tavern? Uh, I think we you, crashed. You said night, we, we. You sent us home, and that was it. Went to bed for the night. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was that. And you guys can choose what you want to do in the morning. And it is morning. You had good short rest. Day one of a short rest. Day one of a long rest. Out of this inn is pretty comfortable. It's only going to take you four days to get a long rest here. That's if good. You stay here every night. We'll see what happens. Um, before we begin, is there a map that we can reference, Ryan? Because I'm going to forget these town's names, and I know one of the things that we had to do was go back south to one of the cities. There might be eventually, but I can't give it to you yet. So that means no. Mm. Yeah, so you know. the, qu- <laughs> the quest options no. are to follow Sir Beric Nidaliff, who is hunting the weevil. Somewhere between Luskin and Mirabar, or to go with Doria and Madeline back to the town that we skipped um, because they're selling things in another town. Uh, also, I need to go back to that town that we skipped because that's where I. But Hundle we're gonna. Stone. I wouldn't Hundle include Stone. that in my <clears throat> recap because I don't sure. know anything about that. And we also have we the option. And we also have the option to talk to the sheriff because to earn a little cash, maybe help him out with whatever he needs help with. Got to suppress some protests. Oh, man. (laughs) Put things out that are on fire. Go be peacekeepers. (laughs) Mm. (laughs) The spin of a few weeks away. Oh, buddy. Let's, let's go find the sheriff. Here we go. <laughs> so, Alex, I'm going to have you move the arm down just slightly. We want to go find Dude Man, who I need to give the guy, the thing to. That's the MacGuffin. probably good. You can also raise this the STD. up and down. Yeah. So I'm assuming you're having issues I gotta give him the ring in my face too much. <laughs> like right there. Okay. <laughs> it's a good yeah, angle. It's weird. looking <laughs> downward a little, so <laughs> right there. Stop. Okay. Stop. What is Stop. going on? I can't. There? I can't. All right, <laughs> welcome everyone. Good morning. Oh, I'm over here. Welcome everyone. Good morning. Oh man, okay. we're excited to be live again, and you can tell that it's early. Hmm? Yeah, I forget how much more of this there <laughs> is in life. Did you did you just say, did you just say good morning, everybody? After 35 minutes of being live, I've been working on stuff, trying to make it work correctly. So yes, good working, morning. trying to make it. Work. Just been sitting there for the last 20 minutes. I've been doing stuff. You know who else you should not piss off in the game of D and D? Your dungeon master. <laughs> Get the mage. <laughs> yeah, right. no shit. What did you do? I don't know. But Start off the day by pissing off the hope GM. I don't do it. it. So I want to turn this white. thing. This Party way. white today. I want to turn the microphone this way. It doesn't yeah. happen though, huh? No. Oh, okay. Right. Sorry. That's no, the that's one good. plane. It doesn't shift. That's on. the only one I really. It I just want to do this. So can. Okay. Oh, good. I just twist it enough? Probably it would take to a find... lot of work. What do you want to do? Uh, you'd probably have to do way down at the base. Just, yeah. Like yeah. this. I'll just lean this way. Because okay. the thing is, I want it to be parallel to my face, but I want it to be closer. So when I move it closer, I feel like I get like this weird corner angle thing going, and I don't like it. Well, that don't matter. Parallel. Man, we were, we're so close to, to starting. That's we so were, obsessive. We were really <laughs> close to starting. <laughs> I'm that kind of guy, but even I can deal with it a little. It's like, like this thing. All right, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Give me back that iPad. <laughs> you were like, that was good. All right, let's go ahead and begin. Hmm. The night passes. If you do not click your short rest, if you're short on hit points, if you're hurt at all, do that now. I mean, I'm one hit point down. I'm probably all right. Yeah, one hit point's fine. Okay, sure. Let me see. I'm 10 down, so let's see if my how many of those short rest things... It's such a small little interface. I'm going to save my interface because I only have three left. I've already used two. So. If only you had this thing called an iPad. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to use mine? I don't <laughs> mind using the phone. Do you want to I can't sign into somebody else's thing. I don't know any of those passwords either. I mean, I can look at your character just yeah, like you it's don't my need character. To sign in. Do you want me to just switch to your character and then hand it over? No. 
to I want to relearn how to use okay. this caveman phone. All right, because <laughs> I I've used the phone so much to make characters on a fairly regular basis. That I don't mind. Oh, I can do one more short rest for sure. Take short rest. Confirm. I must have made a million. And it'll tell characters. you how many hit die you have left remaining. I have three out of five left, so I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna stay hit point down. Since I'm a cleric, I figure I can heal myself. And that way you'll get too. half after a long rest, yep. which will be Here. two we'll do out of five. A D12 yep. plus three. Three out of five. That's cool. Eleven. But yep. I, Max I still health. have three more days. Hey, how did it feel to roll an actual That's why die. I did it. <laughs> I have three more days until I hit long rest, so I'm going to save one of those half hit dice. You know what I'm saying? Like the third one in case, I don't know, in case, in case I get punched by the barbarian but or that something. That would make your, well, I guess that wouldn't really ruin your long <laughs> rest. Uh, if you piss off the barbarian and he punches you, I wouldn't ruin your long rest over a little tiff. Okay. Oh, yes. No tiffs. <laughs> Just the tiff. tiff. Just to see how it feels. Tiffany. But you wake up the next morning. I'm sorry, Tiffany. Due to the sun coming up on She's this side of the inn. <laughs> and you guys are at Kelvin's Comfort. That's where you decided to stay the night. Yeah. And he's the one that serves the fire brandy. Kelvin. Provides the um, comfort. Actually, Ogden is the one that serves the uh, fire brandy, but oh, thanks, it is Kelvin's comfort, and Kelvin apparently owns the establishment. Yeah. What you've learned. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> and when you wake up bright and early, the sun's shining through the windows. You smell the... Uh, Good smells of morning breakfast, bacon, uh, eggs, all the delights of staying at I hope they have bananas. Mm. Uh, what the fuck is a banana? <laughs> I glance at your belts. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think this is um I think this is time, Mr. Carmen, to discuss what we're gonna do for the day. Hi, lad. What do you want to do? Let us begin with breakfast. <laughs> I sounds like a good place to start. Yes, do not be afraid. Come, have bacon. Uh, Mr. And, we'll have and eggs. And we'll have some ale. And pineapples. Uh, no ale, I'll just take I some I bet they have lots of pineapples up no here in the ale. north. What the fuck? So right, we, whiskey in the morning. Oh. I forgot whiskey. Uh, gentlemen, mm -hmm. maybe we should go through the day um, with a clear mind. There's, th there's so much to do. I think his mind gets clearer with ale. Aye. That's what it's for. Did we all share a room? Or is this just Apparently you all just shared breakfast, a room. <laughs> breakfast chat. I think we had two rooms. Yeah, you we're, did. We're probably In walking fact, down the stairs. I'm pretty sure he called dibs on your room right away. <laughs> yeah, it was like, not the barbarian. <laughs> he did not want to yeah. stay with. <laughs> Instead, the, the one who keeps forcing drinks on me. <laughs> yeah, right? Damned if you do any damned if you don't. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> half werewolf boy over here, just fine. <laughs> I, I, I assume that we're all just kind of gathered down in the bar area right now. Yeah, you okay. can file Get down in breakfast. the bar area. And what they've done is they've taken all the round tables and shoved them to the sides. And they got just a bunch of long tables and booths, like cafeteria style, mm -hmm. for the morning uh, meal. Now, Mr. Mm -hmm. Carmen, we could start by speaking to the sheriff. And uh, maybe trying to earn some coin today by seeing uh, what he needs. Uh, we now, also need to go down to Hundostone. Quick question out of game. We <laughs> talked to, what's his face? Ogrek. Ogrek, yeah, about finding the dude man for us. Yep, and he said he's going to look for him and he'll get back to you. But that's probably going to take him a little bit. He said it might take at least a day. I, I, we can go talk to the sheriff. No harm. I don't know about Hundleston. I think maybe perhaps we should deal with the stuff in this town that we have uh, to finish up first and then skip towns after that, you know? Uh, yes, maybe as long as we make it down there within a week. Aye, week sounds good. Aye, lad. Don't fret. We'll get everything done. What is happening in Hundleston? Um, I, I will, I, I'll need to meet a contact uh, for the Harpers. Secret stuff, you know. Oh, shit. Secret story. Wait, what's he? What is a Harper? Oh, Mr. Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they, they play the harp. Yeah, yes, Mr. Carmen, yeah. Yes, yeah. he's getting into instruments. 
I mm-hmm. they do the harping with the instrument of the you know the thing with the strings and that sh- sh- bacon. Who wears the bacon? <laughs> I just they come over with a plate of bacon and it's full to the brim, and they start putting a few strips on each person's plate as they run down the line of the uh, table. And there's a few other people here, but nobody that you were um, with last night. These are people that either patronage the bar at most times or that stayed the night in the inn. Fuck's sake, lad, you're too skinny to eat up. Mm. And I just kind of t- I'm just kind of nibbling on. <clears throat> yeah. What the fuck are you doing? You don't play with it. It's food. You eat it. Uh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll eat as much as I can today. For the love of Morden. <sighs> you hear uh, one of the guys that's kind of near you. He looks over. He's got a mouthful of food. Eating. If you want to see the sheriff. Right. He's probably over at the town speaker's. I bet we could get him to come to us. <laughs> oh. Push. <laughs> Did you really do that? Yeah. <laughs> you push the guy? No, I push... Uh... Theodore. Hmm. What's his name? Theodore. Theodore. <laughs> Teddy. <laughs> Teddy. Right. Teddy, Artie, and Oh, there. Whoa, lad. It's better if you find them. If they find you, they want you to pay them, not pay you for things. Hmm. But I could stay and eat while they find us. <laughs> well, we Mr. Could. Thomas, it is time to that you learn to find a sense of decorum when you're in the cities. I don't think he knows Whoosh. that. I don't think he knows what that means, lad. <laughs> you just had an orange juice bath. You're going to be sticky for days. <laughs> Mr. Oh, gosh. I am... Uh, I, I don't know that uh, cantrip. Unfortunately, I do not either. I got to decorum right your face. <laughs> now, how do we go about finding the sheriff? He's at the someplace. He's probably at the town speakers. Where? That's where he would spend most of his day unless there's anything that needs his attention. I do this. I'm like, I Our will go there. on the north side of the town. North side, you say? North side. Thank you you much. take the, the High Tens Road right here. That's the uh, main thoroughway through town. Just straight north. You can't miss it. It's at the dead end. Right before you get to the walls. Thank you much, sir. Well, I suppose that we'll, we'll do that first thing after breakfast. And maybe Aye. after I get cleaned up here a little bit. I. And I kind of shoot you <laughs> dirty look. <laughs> More of an orangey look. Oh, God. <laughs> What's the stuff called? Firebrand? Firebrandy? Yeah, firebrandy. I'll have a firebrandy to start things off, right? Um, sure. He says as he goes back and starts prepping it, it's not even ready or made too early in the morning. What kind of bar is this? It's an inn and a bar. <laughs> <laughs> they start it getting wrong. ready in a few minutes. They bring you out a nice fire brandy, lights it. One for him too. <laughs> and this lad definitely needs one. Look at him. <laughs> How about you, woodsman? Mr. Carmen, it is too early in the day to drink. What? I'll add it to your tab. <laughs> Aye, thank you. Why are you speaking such foolishness, son? <laughs> well, uh, first of all, I think you choose to drink it or to wear it. <laughs> Mr. Thomas, <laughs> Mr. Carmen, it is too early Lad, to start drinking. As well, it's good for you. We are trying to save money here. And what no, we, I no, no, lad, you're wrong. We're not trying to save money. We're trying to make money. They're different things. But, but you keep on spending the money on this fr- frivolously on on these these fire brandy drinks. Did you just call me frivolous? Yes, you are frivolous. <laughs> Son, I don't think you understand that frivolity is when you spend money on things that are not necessary. This, son, is a necessary part of doing business. That's how this works. So either you drink it or I'm going to push it down your throat. Mr. Carmen. Phrasing. (laughs) (laughs) Mr. Carmen, there's a time and place. Two. I take the shot glass and I throw it over my shoulder. I tackle. Are you trying to do it <laughs> sly? No. Like you drink it? <laughs> no. I'm getting up. I'm getting upset. Okay. 
Thomas, now I grab him. <laughs> Good luck. Really? <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> All right, I'm going to attempt to wrestle my shot glass into it and just like pour it down his throat and hold his mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Carmen, what are you doing? Roll to attack. <laughs> it's a grapple check, so you have strength. to roll the hit, I believe. Uh, I don't know. I think grapple is a contested strength roll. Okay, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> you win. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and Can roll a one. Can you? Yeah, sure. That's that's true. I think it is an attack roll at first, but I'll check. Okay. Grapple. Doodle dude. I think to grapple it would be a attack roll, and then to restrain afterwards. Is well, not to restrain, but to hold on. They can use an escape check. Hmm. It says uh, use the attack action to make a special melee attack, a grapple. Special melee. If you attack, can make multiple no. attacks, you can do that as well. I can, and I'm not gonna keg him. That'd be messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Drink it! <laughs> bam! 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 <laughs> like. All right, here we go. Not so great. I'm, what, 12? And it is actually, it's your attack roll contested by his strength or dexterity check. Athletics or acrobatics if you've got it. Oh, they kind of changed this all up. Yeah, I thought this was just a straight up contested deal, but all right. Um, Acrobatics. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Actually, uh-uh. Josh, you are right. You would have done strength athletics. Uh, which is only nine, but I still beat him. You still yeah. beat him? Oh, yeah. yeah. Big time. Real bad. <laughs> you use your dexterity, even? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't have uh, a high... I don't have anything. a high anything. The dwarf looks over as you throw the uh, shot glass over your shoulder. I go, nope. He grabs around you like a bear hug, and you are now... Grappled, but I only have to have one free hand to grapple him. His shot glass is empty. Mine's not. <laughs> <laughs> so that's turn one. Um, he attacked you. Do you want to try to escape? It's for your own good, son. Yeah, I'll try to get out of his grasp. So escaping a grapple, same thing. You succeed on a dexterity acrobatics or contested by his strength. 21. That's pretty serious. Uh, more than you. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> You're squirming and trying to worm out of his grasp. Sorry, son. He's got a good grip You'll thank on. me in the future. Mr. Carmen. Snoop. Roll to put the glass shot down uh, my throat. Give me another strength contested check. <laughs> no, this is a pretty elaborate. <laughs> yeah, I'm like. <laughs> you got to have fo- 34 successes. <laughs> How many times do I have to beat this asshole? Um, 13. Contested on a. Uh... No. Natural one. Natural one. He drinks it. You try to keep your mouth closed, and he just presses in on your cheeks a little, and it's enough, just like a cat's reflex. Your mouth opens up, and he dumps it in. in. And then I help him hold it closed until he drinks it. And he shushes you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, lad. It's good. It's like medicine. Oh. It's good for you. <sighs> Do you yeah, think there you go. There you go. these pants make my butt look big? <laughs> I. Yeah. I'll need another one, barkeep. He comes over, right at the time. He puts another one down. He already had it prepped this time. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, right, now we're good. It's very warm. Should I roll a constitution check? Um, <laughs> sure. To see if I keep, can keep it down? I mean, if you barf into your own mouth while I have it closed with your nose pinched, you're going to be a sorry lad. <laughs> you better keep it down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you want to keep it down, you can keep it down. Okay, I'm going to keep it down. Mm-hmm. Do give me a constitution check. Uh, not ten. Not ten. <laughs> <laughs> I, miss my, I miss my laptop right now. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, that does make it a ten. Mm. ten. It's decent. You feel a little, little lightheaded and warm, but nothing too bad. It's good for the cold. Your sniffles are cleared up immediately. You can true. breathe the <laughs> fresh, crisp air of the morning. Yeah, but I can see a dwarf leaving that. <laughs> My robes were doing just fine keeping me warm. Thank you, Mr. Carmen. Please never do that again. Well, 
We'll see what happens. <laughs> Let's make our way to the sheriff now. I. <laughs> I think he wants to file a report. <laughs> 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 I cram a bunch of bacon in my face and then get ready to go to the door. All right. You guys finish off the meal. Then you head outside into the bright early morning. The clouds are clear. There's no snow in the air. The streets have been cleared off of any remaining snow. And all the snow that's been pushed is just um, stuck between all the cobblestone. As you walk down this large main thoroughway straight north in this town... All the buildings are small, single um, residences. They're not large commons buildings. They all have high peaked roofs for the snow to fall right off of. You can tell that they must deal with this year round up in the north, the great white north. You keep walking down the thoroughway for a little bit until you see just like he described at the very end of the road is one of the bigger buildings that you've seen since you've been here and it's a two-story manse it's pretty um elaborately decorated looks like it's probably dwarven architecture you can tell that immediately and it's one of the only stone buildings you've seen in this entire town there's not many stone buildings most of it's made out of timber my good Dorvan craftsmanship there. Mm. It's almost is... like a little stone keep. It's so large. I think this is it. I Gandalf on the front door. My wooden staff. I do, 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 do. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. And it's no, a Mr. large wood oak door that has some... Um, engraved filigree of gold around all the corners and along the entirety of the trim and it has a big door knocker as well but you tap on it with your staff and it's more like ting 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 from the sound oh uh, yeah staff yeah it's a mall oh yeah it is a mall <laughs> yeah <laughs> rework that in my mind. Right. it is like <clears throat> if you try to hit it really hard okay no, that's right dent the door. I, I know how to, to break the door it, yeah <laughs> If I need to, I know how. <laughs> and mm. the door opens after a few, well, about 20 seconds while you guys are standing out front. Who's in the lead? You, I'm assuming, since you knocked? Yeah. Thomas? <laughs> <laughs> what was that look? That was the, that was the, the barbarian. He's got the best charisma of anyone in the group. I mean, yes. Yes, that's true. It is true. The door opens and you see a long-faced, straight-faced woman with her hair going down her shoulders and kind of pulled together loosely. She's wearing the same clothes that most of the people wear in the city. Nothing fancy. She looks like anyone else that you see walking down the street. I thought you would be a... Coming over at some point in the near future. We come to offer our services. Hey, we need money. Uh, I, I believe what my um, companions are saying is a step that we would like to speak. <laughs> we'd like to speak to the sheriff. He's here. I want to speak to you first. You are. I am. I'm the speaker of the town, Duvessa Shane. It's a pleasure to meet you. I've heard some of your deeds, some of your tales, and I wanted to hear it from your own mouths. Oh, Have you heard the good or the bad tales? Aye, which tales are <laughs> well, what's you the referring bad? to? I don't believe we have any bad tales. He has well, a very no, small penis. <laughs> she looks right at you. You should be looking at him. <laughs> well, speak freely. Speaker of the town. I don't believe we have any bad tales, uh, bad ma'am. Bad tales, bad. Mm. We killed some orcs. We fought cultists and a dragon. Uh, let's see. Uh, a little self-indulgence with those bad tales, I see. Well, we didn't necessarily fight the dragon, I guess. We were there while the dragon attacked our giant friend. Anyways. But there was a dragon. Dragons and giants and orcs. It all seems a little too fantastical for me. Especially, um... I've never heard of you before. 
Anyone you have not heard more? of the greatest mage of the Southern Isles? Oh, shite. And I stab my uh, staff into the ground and I cast Gust in through the door. <laughs> you see snow just start blowing inside. And it blows on some of the nice area rugs that they've laid down in the main oh, no. uh, chamber of this small manse. I'm very sorry. I just keep going. <laughs> You just keep going? Yeah. Mr. I'm like, stop, Mr. Thomas. stop, stop. You're messing about all of the refinery. And I let it slowly taper down. Come on in. Don't bring the outside with you anymore. I sorry about that. Mm. All right, in you go, in you go. I, I kind of push you in. Okay, <laughs> so I go in. She invites you all in. and in You this, decorate um, your walls with many paintings. In this big main chamber, it actually seems more of like a large living room with all the different styles of furniture, chairs, and couches, and um, tapestries along the wall, and uh, it's very warm in here compared to the outside. Um, you can't really tell, sure, because it's always warm to you wearing that ring, and you can you can tell the difference, although it's not too much of an effect on your uh, system. Okay. I sit on a chair that's too small for me and break it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, there wouldn't be any chair that's too shoddily built or small. Okay. There's no children's chairs here. Even it creaks your, a little bit. But even your fat matter. ass can fit in most of this furniture. <laughs> all, the, all these little people chairs. I had a question about the trousers. Aye. Fair enough. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I think mm. Sheriff Markham should be joining us shortly. Ha, Let me go we, and we bypassed the stories. Ha, ha, good. No, there will be stories. But I want him here for that. Make yourselves comfortable. There's some reading material on the table if you want to read anything. Do you have I'll any? Be about five minutes. <laughs> I rearrange a little coffee table over by a chair so that I can Thomas stretch be out. Please be considerate. Put my of, feet up on the please cushions. Be, oh, no. Please be considerate. Uh, this is not our place. She said to make ourselves comfortable. Uh, I you? will do as the lady asks. She walks out of the room while you're doing that. Oh, I'll I'll leave you guys book. alone for about five minutes. <laughs> Mistakes were made. <laughs> <laughs> I grab a book and I read Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Can you read? Yeah, I can read. Oh, that's good. I'm a freaking sure? wizard. <laughs> Eight intelligence? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a wizard. There's, I mean, out of game, there's at least one of us in this room right now has eight intelligence. <laughs> it's just barely below the average. I love how we all three of us look around. Like, <laughs> well, that's me? the thing. Everyone, everyone's, everyone's like, wait a second. I can't be... Is, it's like the it's thing like that Spider-Man where if you meme, ask, everyone's pointing at each other. Yeah, <laughs> you, it's you. <laughs> it's, the, it's called the positivity bias. Mm -hmm. Everybody thinks they're above average, yep. when in fact that just means average goes up. Actually, I'm guessing you've probably heard this, but if you ask people if they think they're better than average drivers, something like 95 percent of people will say yes. That's the positivity bias. That's the way that they mm -hmm. usually illustrate yep. it. Uh, I. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> but that's not possible. That's, that's <laughs> not that's not how math works. <laughs> right. So, anyways, you're reading so, a yeah, novel. I'm a genius. Mm -hmm. Slowly. <laughs> 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 Takes him quite a long time to get past the first right. page. And he's got no his pictures. finger out and he's like following the words of his finger. <laughs> Why do they make the text so small? <laughs> and there's All these definitely tiny dwarf some books. words in there that you have no idea what they mean. They're way too long to be an actual word. Well, yeah. They must have forgot space. <laughs> Sneak a snack, bandersnatch. Yeah. Those, those, those things are all That's obviously cool. gibberish. Kind of like how you read my name as the Odor versus Theodore. Yeah. The Odor. <laughs> Translation error. <laughs> Too long a word. A, a yeah. smell. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> but after mm. uh, a long five minutes of silence and reading or whatever else you're doing. She walks back in the room and walking at her side is a large dark skinned man. He's about 6'2", bald shaved head and he looks 
pretty rugged. He has a couple scars on his face, and you can tell this is probably the Sheriff Markham. Uh, Mr. Markham, good to make your acquaintance. How do you do? Very well. He sits down on the couch across from everyone, and Duvessa, I don't know if she introduced herself as Duvessa. I think so, but I don't remember that. There might have been a bit of cross-talking, but she sits down next to him on the couch. So you've come here for work. Aye. This far north, you hail from Waterdeep? Is that what I've heard? Uh, nay. I'm from, uh, oh, what are those mountains called again? Hey, what is this word? C-H-R-Y-S-A-N-T-H-E-M-U-M. I am unfamiliar with this word. I'm from the those mountains. <laughs> He's listening over here and not over there. <laughs> the stone something. Yeah. I have it over here. Yeah, we're not allowed to look at the map anymore, so we don't know where, where <laughs> we live. I'm like, mm. Well, you should remember that. It's your character. <laughs> My character's from all over, over, so. There you go. <laughs> A little bit everywhere. I'm from Waterdeep. You're from from hope even further south the sword mountains oh yeah so no nay i'd be from the sword mountains he's from the red rocks i don't know where i'm kind of from from. all over i know the general wilderness area from the sword coast yeah but i've been through water deep recently we came through on our way here didn't we or maybe we skipped it i don't did we come through water deep uh i'm from water deep yes we probably all met at water deep nay we met south water deep we met south water deep I over by uh, Daggerford. Daggerford. Well, I Daggerford. Daggerford for you guys. I, uh, uh, sir, I'll just say that we're just uh, traveling companions, and um, uh, our adventures have led us up north, and well, we need funding to continue. So, if there's anything we can do for you, told you it would help. Well spoken, lad. He just smiles. My deputies filled me in on your exploits and your travels. At least what you've told him, Agric. Oh, I Agric. He's a good sword. He's a good deputy. I met his kin, Morak. Now, from what he tells me, he says that you had some quite tall tails. Nay, we're just normal sized tails. Tails taller than most you hear in the north, but you've befriended a giant and I, you've fought off dragons to be More fair he one. was a friendly giant he was not hard to befriend I, he was very friendly and the dragon we didn't much tangle with we uh we killed the, the cultists mostly the dragon flew away yeah a dragon flew away but there was a dragon Some... not saying that i will disbelieve you just by your word alone, uh, sir. I don't. I, I don't believe you need to believe us. Um, I just. We just want to know if we can do anything for you. But we're not liars. If that's what you're insinuating. I just said I'm not saying that, Mr. Carmen. Let, it, uh, 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 Sheriff, please. Is there anything we can do for you? What kind of work are you looking for exactly? You're well armed, well armored. Aye. So fighting is your game? Mostly, yeah. I believe we can fill most roles. However, the one that gives the most coin and the most risk seems to be... We're not necessarily very good diplomats. (laughs) Imperial fiddlestick! (laughs) <laughs> oh, good insults in this book. <laughs> you know this one. Huh? So not that. <laughs> he actually smiles. I don't have any jobs that I need done in my city of that nature. All right. But you're welcome to stay here as long as you don't cause any trouble. And from what I hear, you seem to be just the right kind of folk that we like traveling through these parts. Poor and thirsty. <laughs> that too. <laughs> People that don't cause trouble. Nay, we that didn't... look to help others. Aye. 
And that's what our city's about. A community. Everyone here pitches in for everyone else. Hi. That's what we believe in. So it's nice to see some friendly folk in our area. We, we figured you'd be coming here or I'd come visit you down at Kelvin's if I had to. Well, I'm glad you didn't have to. <laughs> we tried. If I wanted to. It's not I... that I have to. I like to meet everyone that comes through. I like to know who's in my city. That seems like a pretty daunting task. Not, not so really. much traffic. Not a lot of people like to come through the north here. Mostly merchants, traders, those are the people that come through the most frequently. You can I know everyone. Wanderers. Know everyone in town. I try to. Hi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Thomas. Uh, Freebie. We, <laughs> we'll go back to reading my book. <laughs> we do be looking for someone. There's a lad we're trying to find. What the fuck was his name? <coughs> I have notes. I just didn't bring him. Oh, you didn't bring him? <laughs> no, I fucked up. Okay. All right. Go back to reading your book. I'll go back. Yeah, there I'm going to go. flip back a couple pages <laughs> in my book real quick where I had made a note. Sarek. Uh, Sarek, son of Artis Simber. We'd be looking for a Sarek, son of Artis Simber. I know him. I, I have to have a word with him. And what is it you want to talk to him about? I have the unfortunate, uh, uh Artis Simber is dead. And I have been tasked with giving him the news. He looks around at everyone's faces who are kind of just staring at him. But give me an insight check. Okay. No, right. Mm. I roll a dice instead of nine, I think. Yeah, what are you going to do? You have to roll an actual die. Do you want? Yeah. Does everybody roll an insight? I yeah, got, an, I got a nine. It's, it, With a plus seven. That's <laughs> what oh. I do. I, I'm apparently listening better <laughs> than I'm pretending. Because. I got a 14. Uh, skills. Insight. 17. 12. That was a rather pregnant You're pause. You're a little distracted and thrown off, but. You look over and they all, your party seems to draw you back into his um, facial expressions and the things he's They're like, saying <laughs> from his face. But he definitely has a bit of recognition, not just for Sirik Simber, but for Artis Simber, as you speak his name. Did you know him? I knew him well. I am sorry for your loss. Apparently we're giving more than one bad news today. I, I've already heard, but it's something I wanted to confirm from your own mouth. I he be dead. Did you see the body? Uh, we Artist, knew him inside and out. <laughs> no, not not very well. Artist the immortal, some people called him. Well, it looks like that was a misnomer. Hmm. It you, happened probably during one of those tall tales that you've heard from us. Do you want to know how or... He was squashed by a rock. Dropped from a flying castle. I'm <laughs> 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 I'm trying to play that charisma. They're down. Yes, I, I had heard that too. He, he's lived ten lives, from what I know, or from the tall tales. Time's up. Well, ten was his unlucky number. He is like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> so, first nine, a okay. I told Morak, who was friends with Artis Simber, that I had come up here and talked to the lad about his father. And I gave him my word. Let me talk to him first. There's things that need to be discussed before that happens. And then I can let you know after I've done that. Aye, but it's 
it's important that I talk to the lad. There are some odds and ends that Morak wanted me to tie up that maybe artists hadn't got the chance to, if you know what I mean. It's been said that the reason artists live ten lives is because of that very ring that you wear right now. And he looks down at the ring, you see a little bit of longing in his eyes. Oh no, the one ring. Fuck. As you might for anyone that knows it could give you more than one life. Well, I didn't know. I haven't tried it like that. But, mayhap, but I know it belongs to the boy. So, I need to be giving it to him. I hope you don't mind. But I gave my word. No, I don't mind. But I wouldn't go around town talking about it so freely. I didn't say anything about the ring. That was all you. I said I had news for the lad. Augric. He told me. Oh, may, mayhap I did say something about it. Aye, right, well then, no he more of that. His whole life story every time we talk. <laughs> I believe you used the ring to chill a few drinks. Oh, sure. <laughs> that. <laughs> Bob stunned. <laughs> yeah, wolves. That's fine. <laughs> well. I'll get back to you in a few days. I have many things that I'm taking care of at the moment, and that's not on the top of my priority mm -hmm. list. I... But I'll definitely help you out. I've already told Ogric not to let you know yet. Wait, what? I put I've already let Ogric know <laughs> not to tell you where Siric is yet. Why would you be keeping it from us, though? There's family history that they need to take care of. Are you related? No. I kind of sit up on the coffee table. <laughs> yeah, I look at you laying down. Like, mm. There's a bit of bad blood between them. Artist and Sim Artist and Sarek. So again, I'd like to talk to him first. If Artis lived ten lives, how old is Simper? Or Sarek. Sarek. What? Well, does not matter. Artis has lived ten lives at the age he was. A healthy and he went through them rather fast, rather quickly. Sarek's probably not the only one of his children. Well, Sarek's the one that I'm supposed to be delivering the ring to. Give the ring to youngest born, perhaps. Nay, hey, always the oldest. Uh, I imagine if Artis was more than a hundred years old. Gentlemen, we do not need this... to be concerning ourselves with these family matters. Let the sheriff take care of what he needs to take care of. He knows where to find us. But in the meantime, sheriff, um, is there anywhere uh, we can maybe find some work? Besides violence, what talents do you have? I am greatest mage of Red Rock. I am a brewer. Hi, and you? <laughs> uh, I, 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 I just study a lot. And a cleric. I'm also a cleric, yeah. I'm relatively good at uh, scavenging and living off the land. Uh, he's a good guide. Well, I have also experienced working in Lighthouse and on Ropes course. <laughs> on what course? Ropes. Ropes course? Ropes course. Adventure for suburban mothers and whatnot. Uh, see ya. See ya. It's mm. like adventuring, but <laughs> in a can. If you want to keep mm. yourself occupied for the few days that I need, then you can brew... There's one of the ale houses that needs some help. We can open competition to Kelvins. <laughs> we haven't had as many uh, merchants come through, so we're a little short on ale in some parts of the city, and being short on ale is a terrible thing in the north. It is. <gasps> Anywhere. If we have a couple days, we could uh, go with the ladies who were merchants. 
Traveling between the ten towns is not a couple day adventure. It's it more only, like it only a took us weeks. like one day to get there. We should wait until we can until we finish our business here, and then we're free to go wherever. Thunderstone is the nearest town. That one. That's three days away. Holy shit! You guys are slow. Horse. I thought we were faster than that. Wow, we were very fast. We were we are speedsters. <laughs> Whatever. I, okay, well, so yeah, we'll wait and talk to the lad when you say that it's good. Until then, I'll help you with your horrible, horrible calamity and uh, help make morale for the for the townsfolk. You obviously understand it doesn't pay like violence pays. Well, it's, I would consider but, it my civic duty. Tell you what I can do. I can uh, put your bill at Kelvin's Comfort for room. I'm bored. <laughs> saw my smile. Not ale. <laughs> I understand. Mm. Better be three meals a day and a bed to put you, lay your head down on. Thank you much. Appreciate your kindness. Better brew more than you drink. We'll, we'll <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> That's a tall task. <laughs> Aye. What should I do to contribute to this lovely little northern city? Perhaps I will find the children and teach them magics. Why don't you help me with the owl? We need help lifting the barrels. You're a strapping young lad. That is short-term goals. We can change entire generation with learning to use magic. I really need help, Thomas. Perhaps we can invite kids to air. May have to have a lighthouse for him to sit in. You just see his face get. <laughs> yeah, <worse>. right. I'm <laughs> like, I'm like, this guy's talking. I'm like, may have to have a lighthouse for him to sit in. Do you want to see the towers? <laughs> Each gate has two gatehouses to the side. Very tall, like a lighthouse. And they need a light and someone to watch it, I'm sure. You can put a torch up there. <laughs> make sure nothing attacks from the east. Very important that torch stays Or the lit. southwest. Very important to keep that torch lit. Uh, you know what? I can tell you're trying to get rid of me, but <laughs> I... We'll go and be on my own and unsupervised, as per your request. That sounds excellent. Look now at what you have wrought. <laughs> <laughs> and I lay back down on the Look table. <laughs> I am sorry. Is it free hunting in the nearby woods? Can I get that coffee down there? I need some coffee and cinnamon rolls. It's time. It actually isn't free, but... I'll allow you to hunt while you're here. I'll, I'll give you a permit for how much you can hunt. <gasps> Sounds good. Is it only land animals that we need to concern ourselves with? Are we able to fish as needed? Oh, my God. I can't believe he did that. <laughs> he succeeded on the deck save. <laughs> that was really close. Yeah. <laughs> that been the first spill like of the table. The it, didn't, it seemed like such an easy thing, and then it tipped. I was, I was like, like oh. <laughs> I was involved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Perfect. So... Let's go back to this giant that you keep talking about. I the nice you one. haven't said anything about. No, what the we have not thing. keep talking about him. <laughs> you keep pretending we do. What about him? How did you meet a giant, and how did you befriend him? His flying uh, tower was parked in the middle of the road, so we and as we approached it, he came out and was like, "Hi, little people, blah blah blah, little folk. It's okay. I am a good guy." And then so we went in, in with him, and he flew us most of the way here in his flying tower. Uh, yes, he was very he was very gracious. I, I haven't got to be honest with you. I haven't ever really heard of giants being friendly, except for a few stories here and there. This one also knew magic, which I imagine is also somewhat rare for giants. He was a big, friendly giant. Big mage giant. is always nice, guys. BFG, big, friendly giant. <laughs> All right. I, but he did, there was kin that he knew of, not directly related to him, and not even the same kind of giant. I guess there's different ones, but she was 
the one dropping the rocks from her flying citadel onto the town where Artis got squished. He said he would investigate it further. Aye, he's going to look into it. He didn't give us direct information until he was able to get pieced together the entire story, it sounded. He had to talk to a god or some such? He used magic to divinate. What could be a problem. Is there anything I should know that you haven't told me? Uh, Almost certainly. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, They're giants and the dragons, they hate each other. And they're, they fight a lot. And there's something wrong with the giants. They had this thing, like this law or set of rules called the... The the Ordney. Aye. And it was supposed to keep them good. But then their king, he like disappeared. And now the Ordning is broken. And all giant hell is breaking loose, I think. Sounds like giants are acting on their own now that there is no law. Aye, the king is no longer there to... Which may or may not have anything to do with the fact that... Red dragons can change form into people shapes and infiltrate and do other things. We met one who was so small, he was like even small compared to him. <laughs> I think if you could believe it. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> the dragon was smaller than you. Hey, fuck you. I but he was. He was a halfling. And he, he had shrunken down to a halfling magically and was having a beer with us at one point. But he was a good dragon. Uh, but he still hated giants. Said he wanted to kill all of them. It was wild. So we met the dragon, but he was good. Then we met the giant, but he was good. Then we met the dragon, but he, he was, was bad. bad. Yeah, bad. <laughs> he was a bad dragon. He breathed fire inside of the flying t- tower. I would love to catch up some more with you <laughs> fellows. <laughs> you ask the check question. On the securities of our walls. Make nice. sure Ooh. everything is. Uh... Although, and make sure you tell all of your guards to look in the sky on a regular basis because that's where things come from, like rocks and dragons. So be looking up. <laughs> You've had some bad experiences yeah. from the sky. Yeah, I look up. Um, before he takes off, because I get a feeling he's going to leave, did you see the text message I sent you like 20 minutes ago? Yeah. Okay. So give me a stealth roll. Oh, fuck. Me? What? Well, it has a stealth. Um, what the shit? What is? What is? It's <laughs> holy fuck. <laughs> okay, let me see. Buy him a gloopy. It's hanging in dingleberries. What the fuck are you doing over there? Nothing. Uh, oh, another thing about hunting. I prefer to hunt at night. Is that a permissible? I would encourage you to hunt during the day, but that's for your own safety, and I feel that you. Can be in charge of your own safety. Uh, he's fine. Anyone keeping an eye on Twitch? Do I have, a, do I have an extra? Oh, let's see. You do not. <laughs> that's why I always save well, one, man. Then I'm gonna use use always my my one. one from last time. <laughs> they got way worse. Oh, uh, no. It went down to a nine. Fuck. What was your first roll? Fourteen. Fourteen. Let's check. Time to look at the passives. His passive perception's better. I hope he sucks at it. I tried to do it mid conversation when there was extra. Don't be taking his lucky charm. I will be saying my passive perception is a (laughs) fifteen. Well, then you would see. Mine's like a (laughs) seventeen. Oh well, you would both see the spider slowly crawl out. From his beard and along his shoulder and then kind of down his back to be a little out of sight. But then you see it reappear under the table. And it starts crawling up towards the couch where the sheriff's sitting. And it starts crawling up his pant leg. Can I intervene before it gets there? What are you going to do? Step on it. You know it's his spider. It's a spider. It's definitely his familiar. Do I know what a familiar is? I don't have Arcana. Yeah, he showed it to you before. You guys freaked out. But I don't know if I know what a familiar is. Mayhap, I just think he's a creepy fuck that likes to keep a spider in his beard. That would make it his pet spider. Do you I... want to step on his pet spider? I'll try to shoot with my foot. I tried to shoot away. Unobtrusively. Um, yeah, give me a sleight of hand roll. Stealth, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Brian. <clears throat> Maybe he looks at you and not at the spider. 
two. Two. See? <laughs> he looks, he moves he looks, his foot very erratically, trying I'm to like, shoot <laughs> something away. It looks like he's trying to be quiet. And he's trying to distract up here, but his foot's even more distracting, giving the sheriff an actual perception check instead of just oh, passive. Oh, sorry. But I have to see if his passive's even good enough. May so. have him fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. What are you trying to do? I was going to have the spider go with him when he got, goes oh. off and sneaks and shit. Oh. <sighs> that would have been smart. His passive perception is a 15, and as you're trying to shoo it away, his shoe comes down. <laughs> What's it's a? Uh, it doesn't matter if he's gonna stomp it to death. <laughs> it's AC is not good. It's like eleven. What's it's AC? Eleven, maybe. Fourteen. Well, oh. this is no. This oh. is that's a giant spider. Hold on a second. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> he squashed the smashed. Oh, okay. got it. Goes, <sighs> and he has a total of three damage. You can call it back right onto his back. It takes uh, a little oh, bit. Oh, it takes a little time to resummon it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And gold. I'll pay for that. that <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wasn't your fault. His yeah. passive was still higher. But I don't know that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess the only unnerving thing is that there wouldn't be any guts or anything when he checks. It's poof. He thinks that it got away and he missed it. It has less than three HP. Oh, oh yeah, they oh, have one, like one, one hit point. Half. So yeah. He slams his boot on the ground. You hear the loud thud. This is right on the wooden part of the flooring. Everyone jumps. <laughs> <laughs> Lifts his foot up. Doesn't say anything about it. I mean, it's for the spider. Mm -hmm. I have some duties to attend to. I thank you for coming to our town. Thank you for having us. He stands up, brushes his thick, sturdy, stiff coat downward, and walks out of the room. I close my book. Duvessa's still <laughs> sitting up, there. Get up and leave. Bye. <sighs> Who are you? See you again. Probably. What does a speaker do? I speak for the people. I help keep the peace. I help with any sentencing that needs to be done. I like how I looked at him when he said keep the peace. That was good. I looked at you. Oh, you should keep the peace. <laughs> she just smiles. I'm a peaceful sword. I will go find these towers. I guess I have a couple days to get comfortable. Very well. I leave with the book. She just looks at you as he's walking out. <laughs> I'll talk to Kelvin. We can add it to his tab. Thank you. Where's the L house? <laughs> so there are a few ale houses in this city. Kelvin's obviously, but they don't need any help. There are most frequented um, bar here. Which place does need the help? Or a brewery? Or some such? And she will give you the name of that. Ma'am, could you direct me to the uh, the closest library? Library? There's no libraries in Brent Shander. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is it. Yeah. Grab your book. Before Thomas leave. has the library <laughs> with him right now. You're welcome to peruse our books here and if you want to stay here for a while while I'm here you're allowed I'll take a look around what kind of books do I see kind of books about everything both fiction and non-fiction like are you looking for anything in specific I'm looking for anything on giants or what do you do? Well, what you're you like, turn? I look right now. Right, right, you turn it into this. Uh, uh, get, get your hand away from the microphone. <laughs> right, man. What are you doing? Throw some dice at me. <laughs> oh, I found those yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> um, yeah, I'm looking for nonfiction. 
About giants, you said, specifically? Like giants or the dragons, anything that I can, like, looking for stories about the cultists and stuff like that. Anything like that. Oh, Clouth. Mm-hmm. Clouth and Vale. Yeah, they're literally right next to the Clouth and Vale, and she has a few different books on that in specific about Clouth himself. In fact, one is titled Old Snarl, and you remember hearing that nickname. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, perhaps this book, I can stay here and um, learn about Old Snarl. You can stay here, or you can borrow it. Just bring it back. Well, I'll take this with me, and maybe I'll retire to my room at the end. I think it's time for us to pass some time. Mm-hmm. That's what we're going to do. Uh, I did try to do some hunting at night so that I wouldn't be able to be seen by anything with night vision kind of thing. Gotcha. So I don't know how much I would have gotten from that or where I would distribute those things. So, yeah, they gave you a permit to hunt uh, local wildlife. You could mm-hmm. shoot two deer. Or as many bears as you want. Okay. They tell you to avoid the bears if at all possible because they're not your normal grizzly bear. They're a little bit larger and a little bit more dangerous. But you're allowed to try to kill as many as you want. Can I resummon my familiar in the shape of a bear? No. (laughs) What's, uh, why? Because there's no bear choice. It's too big. The CR rating of the animal is too big. Raven... Go read the spell. Did, it didn't we have we have? In case anyone's looking for it, D and D Breakfast Club has an excellent video on alternate options for your familiar. None of them were bears <laughs> or care bears or they're, anything bear yeah. related. You might get the closest thing you might get is like a badger. Yeah, that's barely a bear. You could badger. What about a koala? It's a bad a drop jer. bear. <laughs> Not a good jer. How about a bug bear? <laughs> a good jer. <laughs> How about an owl bear? No, none of those. You can have an owl, you can have a bear, you can't have an owl bear. No, you just can't have half that. You can only have the owl. Five familiar options. Go read the spell. <laughs> but whatever bird is in town, it wouldn't be bad if you made it one of those birds because you could follow around the sheriff Bird birds. With it. There's like crows or some shit. Who knows? Octopus, crab. Octopus is great. I really wanted to have an octopus. Poisonous once. snake. Like I told no. Weasel. Yada yada yada. Okay, so it's after t- you get your long rest bear. in the same day. Um, what did you summon by the way? Bear. Spider. <laughs> spider. Drop bear. It's a spider unless. <laughs> You actually picked something from the list. It's a spider-sized bear. (laughs) It's a spider. All right. (laughs) This one is a eeny, meeny, miny, mo. We make it a rare (laughs) seahorse. That was great. I keep it in in my mouth. (laughs) That's disgusting. (laughs) I mean, is it better than a spider in a beard? That's yeah, spider beard's worse. better. Yeah, it's it's spider worse. beard's better. Keep it in my mouth. Oh, did I get any money for giving the? It's a weasel. Deer or bear or whatever I kill. The cool thing uh, about give me a survival check for like an hour. In fact, so give me the best two of the three. It, have it go do stuff and then dismiss it before the hour is up, and just keep doing it. Which is why I wanted to have an. Octopus. Thirteen and fifteen were the best two, and my survival is plus five. So. 18 and 20. 18 and 20 is really good. You actually do meet your quota for wildlife. So you uh, take advantage of that permit. And yeah, you know what? For distributing the meat, for how much do you distribute? Almost all of it? Or are you going to make any new rations? I'll distribute it all. I can live off the land, so I don't feel like I need it. Give you ten gold. <laughs> On the day 
after you get your long rest, by the way, you can press the long rest button if you haven't. It'll give you back some of your hit dice. It'll give you all of your hit points. And your spell slots. And you can prepare spells. I would like to prepare some spells, You actually. should probably prepare spells if yeah. you haven't done that yet. Oh, yeah. Right. Spells. Manage spells. Uh, all right. I don't prepare spells. I just can't. Okay. And Josh? Yeah. Tick off an amount of gold for someone unfamiliar. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, Thomas needs that gold. Yeah, that's okay. Um, I do want to have a talk at some point with you about the fact that you can control water and I can create or destroy water. So that whole like ice field thing that you tried to do and fucked up horribly, we can do better next time if you want to. Excellent. Because we should do it better than what happened. What happened was not good. Yes. The transition from theater of the mind to battle map Fucked us was over for a bit. problematic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would have been all right if you stayed in the cave <laughs> <laughs> where they just chucked axes at us. Well, they're gonna come to you at the next round. Maybe <laughs> they didn't have to. You went out to meet them instead. We were fish. Cave was barrel. <laughs> Time to go. Why do you think I was on the outside of the cave? <laughs> so you guys were just going to leave Art in there by himself? <laughs> yeah, small mage can be replaced. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving them a few minutes to prepare spells for yeah. the next uh, five days. It's actually pretty important you pick what spells you want. I've got little friend Samantha who I mean, now casts Gust. It's, it's really, it's really a crapshoot. It is about what I need Shooting because I have no shit. clue what I need. Well, you gotta know kind of what your plans are to prepare. Yep. So oh. preparing. Yeah, great. Yeah, we have, luckily we have I three days of being plans. in the dark and not knowing what we're doing. Stone. I would highly recommend having at least two or three damage things, like yeah. one AOE, one good single yeah. target. I'm more talking about yeah. I got my I got my AOE. I got my cantrip. Other than that, my I would look through stuff that, and like, for example, I got example, my shield. It, it's just feather that, fall. Well, that's the thing. It's like, do I need feather fall? Are we even going anywhere around there? No. no. Well, that's the thing. Is like, like, for example, levitation and feather fall, kind of not really needed to have two. One allows you to go up and down, mm -hmm. but feather fall allows you to do a group of people. Listen to the spell so, guru who played a right. bard. <laughs> So yeah, mm -hmm. don't double up on stuff that has multiple uses for... Sure. Or be a bard and you can do every spell in the goddamn book. Yes, it was great. Mm -hmm. It was very good. <laughs> <laughs> Some spells like Unseen Servant make it so you don't need Mage Hand. Yeah. You can just have an invisible slave go open the so door. Mage Hand's a cantrip anyways. Mm -hmm. Is Unseen Servant a level one? I think it's a level one. But see that in that case, I would use Mage Hand versus Unseen Servant because Unseen Servant takes resources. I'd rather just have Mage Hand than I can just beat it. Boop. Just need the hand. That's all you, you ever need, isn't it? Yep, you just need an invisible hand to be able to touch anything that you don't want to touch yourself. There Too you dirty go. for the touching. <laughs> <All right. laughs> the stranger. <laughs> Rename Mage and Hand to the Stranger. <laughs> yeah. uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, make one of those we arcane rangers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, maybe I should change and arcane flick trickster. wounds to something else. I never cast Shield of Faith anymore. That's a non-thing. <laughs> yeah, let's get rid of Shield well, of Faith. Well, it's difficult because it's concentration. Yeah, but I have better concentration spells now. That was another thing I had to do is like, when am I ever going to be concentrating on this? I'm always going to be concentrating on this. So right. get rid of all the concentration spells. I think that's probably the most important change they made in 5th edition mm -hmm. from 3.5 was. Because 3.5, you go into battle, you stack up five different buffs on everyone. Mm -hmm. Now you can't do that. Done, Josh? Mm, yeah, sorry. World's waiting on you. Sorry, sorry. Yep, good. Good job. Good. So, yes. On the day that you all got your long rest after breakfast, 
probably around like 10 a.m. Sheriff Markham comes to visit you at Kelvin's. He walks into the tavern, which they're in the process of moving all the tables again since breakfast is over, putting them back to bar style. And if you want to, you can help in the task or not, but he'll meet you all there. Yeah, I'll help. So I <laughs> managed to meet with Sarek Simba. I how to go. He took the news all right, considering. But he said he would meet with you. If you want to do that today, he's available. I believe this is good and the only time. Let's do it. Will you guys, will you lads accompany me? I believe I can do that. Fine. Let's get it over with. Thank you much. We'll likely be leaving after today, so I don't believe I need the hunting permit anymore. Hey, once we're done talking to Simba. Well, you ended up meeting the quota on your permit anyway, so it's no longer valid. I should probably look That's why we friend. each traded it for a while and each held it so well, that we could we'll each have find our your friend before we leave, don't worry. But mayhap I'll need your heart if things go sideways. Absolutely. Afterwards, we'll look for Broomhilda. Because that's what her name is now. I don't believe that that's was her not name. the her no. correct name. <laughs> but whatever, your super secret society is of no concern to me. You can use whatever pet <laughs> name you'd like. You mean the music makers? <laughs> yeah, the 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 string fingerers. I, I, I. <laughs> <laughs> the the diddlers. <laughs> the diddlers. <laughs> the diddlers. <laughs> the diddlers. <laughs> Yes, we are the Deadlers. <laughs> it's so good to be back alive. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, for folks' sake. <laughs> He's at the House Triad. The House of the Triad. That is one of the temples in the city. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I, is this I have seen, I have seen god, that place. Which god is... I mean, I have religion. Should We're in the Chander. Yeah. Sure, you can roll it. Doop, 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 doop. Eleven. They worship Torm. Oh, at Torm. the house of the Triad. Aye, Torm's a good god. Sure. So close to an anagram for Storm. Just someone with a lisp, perhaps, that did not want to have a shoddy named god. I don't Storm. know if you know that word. Storm? <laughs> they mean Storm, too. <laughs> that was great. Storm. We're going to have to dumb you down a little, Ryan. I am plenty smart at most things. I am a fine mage. <laughs> let, let us go. I cast Gust on you. <laughs> I mean, okay. He knows Gust. Yeah. I can accompany you if you want, or I can give you directions. It's up to you. If you have other business, it's fine. I think we can find. No, a way you come with us. It will be excellent. If you'd like to come, that's all right too. We've been looking forward to your company, Mister Markham, since you sent us off, so you could explore your city for three days. Mm, wait, 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 you all head down to the House of the Triad, letting Markham take the lead. And the House of the Triad is on the west side of the city. I could give you a map of the city That's if you point. have one note. It's fine. I don't have one note. I don't think Never I have mind. that on my phone. I, I know he I'm doesn't because he can't log into it. I, have oh, it. I got into DND. I have it, oh, but I don't job. think that I remember my password. Oh, so. Let's just skip that part. Well, you have to get that eventually. Ooh, one note. Sure. Oh, one note. Aw. Yep. Probably Ent one. Ent eventually. Enter your email sure. phone. That's where the map is. We're you guys keep it. asking about. I didn't know how to read a map. That's I his job. It. I have it. So it is oh, ripped on... In. It used to be named Josh's campaign, yeah, but it's... I just renamed it to yeah, Storm King's here. Thunder. Cities. Brinchander. I got it right here. Yeah, you can share. Sure, I didn't care. I'm fine with 
the theater of the mind. Well, you're going to need it eventually, I said. Eventually you'll need it. Now he's going to make us need it. <laughs> Pretty much. I think it's all right. I didn't have to know all the things Carmen knows. But yeah, it's on the west side of Bryn Shander. You have to go through a labyrinth of small streets that spoke outwards from the uh, merchant circle. And it's a smaller temple, nothing too fancy. But he walks you inside the warm, cozy temple. They've shoveled all the snow out of the way. It's only snowed a few times in the past four days. Nothing too much. Hasn't done a... Hasn't been too heavy. And they have some candles lit up and down the aisles. They have some candles at the far end of the building. And some small windows about eye level height across the way. Across the whole of the way. I'm going to equip my shield and present my holy symbol as I march through the House of Torm, which is on my shield. Which is on your shield. Yeah. I was like, are you getting ready for combat? <laughs> I equip like, my shield. I am a cleric of Morden. He also, just equipped his shield because he feels like he's going to hold it until we get into the next combat. <laughs> also, yes. <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to have it on my arm until someone decides to kick my ass. Got it. You see two men in there. One is a priest, which is obvious. The other is a shorter, kind of pudgy, peasant-looking man who seems a little um, unshaven, doesn't seem like he would belong in a temple, especially when there's not many uh, patrons. It's not a worship time or a service or anything, so it's just those two and a few people in the pews. But he walks you right towards this man, not the priest. Oh, yeah. Who, he's uh, sitting up in the front row, facing the altar where they would be preaching from. I think that is him. He looks just like his dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> he looks all smooshed by rock. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark Amol, come join you guys, but really he's in the front row on a pew facing forward, so what are you guys doing? You're going to go stand in front of him? You're going to sit right <laughs> next to him? Yeah, I'll walk over. Do, 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 do. I'll sit down behind him. Yeah. The looming <laughs> shadow over his head. Are you Sarek? <clears throat> yes. I'm sorry for your loss. I didn't really know my father. He abandoned me when I was just a kid. Oh, I'm sorry for that loss too. I found a new father in my faith. Something to guide me. He takes off his... um doofy looking hat the minnesota ear flap hat and mm -hmm. just kind of twisted in his hand a little ring in it here and there while he's talking Torm's a good god but are you sure you're the sort you don't look armored up and ready to fight he doesn't just invite people that want to fight so be his faithful all right well for example he points towards the priest who is not armored up. I mean, I think that I probably don't understand that super well since all dwarves know how to wear armor. That's like a cultural thing. Well, in the Church of Mord, and it's a little more... Hmm. Um, right. Especially the ones you've gone to, the temples. And every dwarf in the world knows how to wear armor. Which is a weird thing. They're just like built for war, I guess. I don't know. That's what they do. <laughs> Easy. War mongers. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Uh, well, I have something for you that your father had that one of his friends asked me to give to you. I, I heard that, too. I've been, I've been thinking about that, and uh, I'm not really sure I want what he has. He's still ringing the hat. You could just take it and sell it. You can you can uh, have be a rich man. 
I don't want riches. Well, lad, what do you want? You can donate to church and be very faithful, faithful. You're not getting out here that fucking ring. <laughs> I mean, I already know. Like, <laughs> Carmen wants to do what he said he would do. So. I, I just don't know if it would be right. I didn't even really know him. Was this... I guess I don't know the details. Did he tell you this? <laughs> Nay. His friend Morak thought that his next of kin should have it, and he named you as the next of kin. I never saw artists in this world. He was squashed by a rock At least before not I met him. Not most of him. I, not most of my. So, I am here to do what I promised I would do and deliver the ring to you. Now, you didn't have to take it, but may have it could do good i didn't know it's up to you lad what do you wish to do with it well i'm not i guess he had a brother uh, hi where's his brother uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's I'm, in a different city. Uh, how about you bring north. it to him, then? <laughs> Which city is he in, lad? It's a city called... Um, I think it's called Yartar. Where may have, Where is the city? Uh, I've, I've never been there. I just... I don't know much about my father, and I don't know much about his brother, but... If it is your will, I will say keep his ring until we can bring it to his father. Or his brother, I mean. His brother. His brother, yeah. If I never is. even really met my uncle there. But. Are you sure this is what you want, lad? I don't think I want it. All right. What? Yeah, I want that. What is it? <laughs> what is, is it? Food. I want it. <laughs> we got a bunch of sporks. You're welcome, guys. This is promising, though. Woo. <gasps> We got, the, we got the gifts from the god Thorm. Brings <laughs> raspberry Danish coffee cake and blueberry cheese Danish coffee cake. So, oh my god. I'm, yeah, I get up to, and go to the communion table and just start helping myself. <laughs> it's just like, it's mm, my turn, I guess. Wafers and wine. <laughs> nice. I get, if, if I'm going on extra mission, I'm going to be well fed. The bloody body of Thorm. <laughs> yeah. This is the blood of Thorm shit for you. This is the body of Thorm. The raspberry jelly is the blood. Uh, yeah, right? Mm, mm. So, uh, I, if this is what you wish of me, lad, then I will do it. I really can't be the one to ask you to do this. Yes, would be out of place. You, you came all this <laughs> way for my father? Did you even know him? Nay, but there was a dwarf in the, in the town that we were in, Morak. And he asked it of me, and uh, I promised him I would, so here I am. Dwarves live a long time, and we keep to our promises. I have promised to see this ring to the end of its journey, and if that is what is required of me, then I will do it. We already know you better than your da. Aye. He seems a little out of place for this temple obviously but more so just for his timidness you never heard that about Torm really or the people that follow him no, I'm like I've always thought about fighting I've never really practiced or anything and I, I heard he was a great warrior you're da I could help you learn if you like I do could teach you magic tricks. <laughs> I shake my head. He turns around and for the first time sees you <laughs> just like, listening to you. <laughs> you look yeah. a little bit like you sound. <laughs> yeah, you turn you're like, oh, uh. <laughs> Hi, you can be new small midge. <laughs> After we get through the whole one. <laughs> you can come with us if you like. He is coward. Are you you're going there right away? Well, 
there are some things we have to tie up here in the neighborhood first. We're heading to Hundle. That's called Hundlestone. Hundlestone. But uh, if you want to go adventuring, I will take you. Give me like your dad. Perception check. Everyone or just everyone? Oh fuck's sake! I use my inspiration. <laughs> Much better. I can only see the back of his head. So it's hard to tell what's going on. Nineteen. Twelve. Thirteen. Was it a one? No. All right. Was it two? Oh, so it's not a fail. I don't. It doesn't matter. It's definitely a fail. It is Looking actually at the back of his head. <clears throat> enough of a fail for everyone as a group. Nice use of Four. inspiration. <laughs> Five, six. Five. He sits um, in long, awkward pauses during the conversation while he's thinking, like he's trying to process what you're telling him and the things that you're talking about. Maybe you could teach me and we could both, all of us go there? If that is what you wish, lad, then I... I'd have a hard time leaving right away. Um... Do you have things you have to do here in town? <laughs> I mean, just some of my studies. Learning. What kind of studies do you do, lad? My religious studies. How many days would you need before you could leave? Can you give me like a couple weeks? Well, we have to go down to Hundlestone, was it? Today. Mr. If we go down and back, that is full week. By may itself. I interject yes. in this conversation? Oh, sure, you are with us, us Artie. Wonderful to have you with us. Always exciting. If you think you will need a week in Hundlestone. I am not sure after Hundlestone of what are the events are going to. I what, don't know if we'll be we, back. How can we promise? I can promise that I will see the ring to the destination that you want sooner or later. But I don't know where fate has taken us. And after Hundlestone, we may have, have to go someplace else instead of come back here. As you can tell, we pick up arbitrary quests like nobody's business. Perhaps it would be safe to say, if you could be ready to leave at a moment's notice, if we come back, we will let you know. If that would be suitable. We'll what be gone is, at least a week. What is Artist Simmer's kin's name? What's the name of his brother? Good question. Simba. Simba Simbas. Simba Simba. Simba Simba. Simba Simba. Simba Timber? Timber Simber? Limber um, Timber. His name is Virgil. Virgil. Virgin. Virgil Simber. And what was the name of that town again? Yartar. Yartar. Knock yourself out, mister. <laughs> Yartar. Virgil from Yartar. Virgil from Yartar. Got it. Well, if we're back in the neighborhood, I'll be sure to swing by and see if you want to join us. I don't know what'll happen, but I can promise you that if and I still draw a breath, I will make it to Yartar and speak with Virgil about the ring. You all just received an inspiration from Dig Dug. Dig wow. Dug. Thank you, Dig Dug. Oh, hell yeah. You're you need them. <laughs> he got sick of us failing. <laughs> yeah, right? Chance. He's like, you guys suck here. <laughs> I'm, you're so bad at this. As someone bursts in through the front door of this little temple, <laughs> Sheriff Markham! We're under attack! Oh, should should have paid us. <laughs> Sheriff turns around and runs down the aisle without even a um, second thought. I'm going to follow him. I'll stubby footed after him. Oh, the <laughs> slowest <laughs> of the bunch. <laughs> yeah. I give him right. a nine round head start yeah, so that no I don't shit. beat him there. <laughs> <laughs> you like the <laughs> tortoise and the hare. Yeah. Just like lazy uh, back. I go back up for seconds at the community table. fall asleep and he eventually <laughs> wins. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> all right. You all follow Markham or you can run ahead of him. 
the person that came and got him was another one of the guard, the city guard. And they're running kind of along the perimeter of the wall because that's the most clear of any of the city. You don't have to run around a labyrinth. Right. But they're running south towards the southwestern gate. Before I leave, I yell out to, um, what's the guy's name again? Sirek. Sirek. Yeah. I tell him, stay here, lad. You'll be safe. <laughs> I'm going to come with, he says. And he runs along faster than you, actually. Come. Faster than me. <laughs> Meet the faith of your father. <laughs> stay, eventually stay with me, up lad. To you. Stay with me, lad. You'll need one of these. I hand him one of my hand axes. Sweet. Because he has no weapons or armor on, so. I'm about to get killed by a fallen rock. No shit. So who all has one note? I do. I do. I just opened up. Nope. I couldn't get into it. Couldn't get into it. Come as on. no, as normal. That's all right. One side of the table has each side has one one noter. There is one, one noter. Yeah. Altogether, we have two one noters. Two note. So we're two noter. No, two note. Two one noter. Who are we nice. looking at? There's a list of NPCs. Who's that? Yep. That's Paul Dora. Dora, Markham, Dubessa. That would have been nice to know uh, at the beginning of the session, Ryan. Why would I tell you that? Belladonna? I have no clue. Why would you tell me that? You I can didn't go want ahead you and take to know notes that. if you're allowed. So, shield equipped, hammer in my hand. Dorvin battle him on my lips. What are we looking at? I'm ready to go. I just got rid of a long strider, too. Oh, sad. <laughs> the one time you want it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. I have to. I have to crawl so that you don't get ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> or you can just go ahead. I mean, I'll catch up someday. Good luck. Yeah, you're not gonna heal me anyway. So. Combat sort of time I get there. I would heal you. You guys are running through the streets, and eventually, between all the commotion of the guards, and they're mostly flowing this way. Um, and the people running back into their homes and protecting themselves by cowering. You hear the sound of shouting, carrying on the winds. And it is a large, deep, bellowing shout. And you can start picking out some of the words. Bring me Artisimba! You hear. Mark him. This be a job, I take it. Uh, Markham's way ahead of you. Oh, is he? <laughs> way ahead of you. That's fair. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up. If your friends <laughs> aren't slowing down for you, I'm you're way in back. the back with Sirek. Oh, nice. Because he did s- decide to stay with you. I stay with me, lad. Well, no matter what happens, let yeah. I'll take the heat. Do not tell him who you are. I take a swing at Arthur Simber's legs. Or at Sarah Simber's, Simber's, Simber's yeah. legs? He's not coming with us. You take a swing at his leg? Um, like to break one? Yep. Holy shit, dude. He's not coming with us. <laughs> Roll to hit? You'll kill him. His AC Gee. of 14? Right, you'll kill him. No, I called shot non-lethal. Uh, you could just knock him out, man. You don't have to break his legs. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hope he doesn't die from exposure. See, what is that? Plus in? Uh, 23. <laughs> that's a, that's a Boom! Hit. And he's out. He's sleeping this one out. Uh, he's not out automatically. Oh, it could be. Seven plus four is 11. 11? He's Burn. still up, and you whack him. Where do you hit him? Uh, You're going for the legs, you said. Yeah. So yeah, you take TBM. your maul, and you slam it into his kneecap, and he does, like, trip. It's like, lad, what's going on? Stay here, lad. Don't come. <laughs> He looks scared now, and he, um... I have another swing. And he <laughs> shoots As he's pulling out his you. short sword. Oh, he had a short sword? Hmm. Mm. He has two swings. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! Number 12. There we go. I used my inspiration. Hit him again. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't you run. You can just be reckless. inspiration to hit this guy. What's that? You can just you be reckless. reckless. I, I cast have a fireball on the city. You don't have to You're rage, have to rage to be reckless. reckless. Oh, really? Yeah, you can just be reckless whenever you want to. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's one of the joys of being a barbarian, man. Well, that's amazing. I keep my inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> 
four plus four, eight more damage. Whack. Eight more damage. Whack. He finishes pulling out his short sword and looks like he's ready to defend himself. What are you doing? Lad, just stay What's here. What's going on? He's trying to knock you out. Stay down. Stay here. Who? It's, They're looking for it's you. They're looking for you. We'll handle it. Stay here, lad. Did you just fucked him up? <laughs> did, I, did I break a leg? I'm trying to keep him down. He no, can't run anymore, right? <laughs> he is bloodied. Fuck the where, police. Where is he? <laughs> He's, where are we? Well, that and depends. We're all running together, He's probably. He's the slowest. Are you running as fast as him? Just keep or are up. you running with the sheriff? Because you can keep up with the sheriff. Well, I wouldn't be running in the front lot instead. For so sure. you're staying with me. We're in the back. We're the vanguard. <laughs> or the That's rear right. guard. I cast invisibility on him. On who? Artist Simber. You mean uh, Sarek. Sarek Simber. Artist is dead. The dead dad. Yeah. Or I was going to bring out the dead dad. No, I'm just going to. You hear again. Bring me Artist Simba. Yeah, I cast Lad, stay here. I'll deal with it. I cast invi- invisibility on him. Okay. And I tell him, don't do anything. Don't move. Don't talk. Don't cast any spells. I imagine I'm up with the sheriff. Okay, so you stayed with the sheriff. You, you didn't did have not to beat watch. the lad. You did not <laughs> watch the sheriff. <laughs> <invisible. laughs> Everything. <laughs> no, I said I took off him. after him, and I'm looking. You to didn't scout, have to so. beat the lad. I understand your heart's in the right place, Thomas, but you may have just let him live. He says as you're running along the uh, killing field, getting towards the uh, southwestern gate. Killing field is, is there shit going down right now? It's about to, bro. The killing field is that clearing between the wall and sometimes another wall or where they built all their structures so that way um, they can't just torch the things from the other side. Yeah, it's a, cl- it's a clear area between the buildings and the wall. Okay. That kind of killing field. I mean, you did almost kill Sarek. <laughs> it's not going to kill him. It wasn't in the killing field, though, ironically. It was in the other part of the killing field. All right, okay. so we go to the south gate. Now he's freaking invisible. Now he's invisible. If he wants to hit you, he gets advantage. Useless small mage. <laughs> he got advantage anyways. Useless small mage. Um, okay. So you guys continue on towards the southwestern gate, and you can see there's a bunch of guards up on the tower. Mm-hmm. And there's some down below right at the entrance of the gate, but the gate is barred and closed. I go to the gate. Is okay, Markham there? That's where Markham's running towards, and looks like he's going to run straight into the tower. Oh, I'll just follow Markham, I guess. Okay, you follow him into the little stone tower. Yeah. Markham. Uh, you were not caught up. You can see him way up. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> he's with um, Theodore. I knew I should have memorized sending. Fuck. <laughs> is yeah. that the little cantrip? No, it's the spell. Oh, isn't there a cantrip that you can do by pointing? Message. Yeah, well, I don't think one. I have it. What do I have? Oh yeah, no, I have guidance to spare the dying, toll the dead, and order radiance. Okay. Before you guys get there, you Theodore mm-hmm. will see what's going on, and what you see when you get to the top of the stone, this stone tower are not one, but three frost giants. At the uh, front entrance, they look like they have <clears throat> trees for clubs, and they have a few large wolves as well. Uh, is there Time. crenellation? Places to hide on the Yes, wall? there's definitely crenellation. Yeah. I'm going to duck down in one of those areas. <laughs> Party white. Give me a perception check. It's going to happen. Natural 20. Oh, 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 that's really good for you. <laughs> roll, roll worse, Alex. Um, <laughs> you probably would have found out eventually because they would have told you or filled you in. But before that even happens, you look across the perimeter of the walls and there's other frost giants that are now spreading out around the city. Mm. A total oh, yeah. of 12. That's for sure. 12 frost giants. Well then. So it leaves three frost giants at the gate and two very large, not regular looking wolves with uh, pure white coats. Mm. They'd almost blend into the snow, but you rolled so well. Okay. Let us know when we get there. 
That's what you see right away. Okay. If they make an aggressive, if if our side makes an aggressive action, I'll take a shot. Prepare an action. So your side, or if any side takes. An if our action. side makes an attack. Okay, you don't want to be the first one. <laughs> I don't want to be the first shot. No. Gotcha. Good call. Good call. I was going to say either side, but then I was like, eh, there's a chance I could start something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want to start a war this town can't finish. Yeah. Markham gets to the top of the wall, and the frost giant, she looks up again. Bring me Wata Simba! And it's booming loud voice. It almost deafens you. You have to kind of close your ears off a little from the screaming. Mm-hmm. You guys will make it up there. Markham. He's talking with uh, Ogrek, actually. Be this a job. We can't. We won't just give them. No, of course not. Be this a job. I walk over to the crenellation. On my mark. Oh, hold. First we talk, then maybe we fight. I don't know yet. So I, I yell at the giant, Hey! You! <laughs> Are you going to do a negotiator? Yeah. Oh, God. That's so good. <laughs> hey, you! She looks up at you. She's cupping her mouth to make her shouts even louder. Artist Simber be dead. Killed by giant folk. We know that's a lie. Nay. We know he's in there. Bring me Arta Simber. He know he'll be here. They dropped rocks on him from a flying tower thing. Tell him where it was at. What town was it again? Nightstone. Oh, in Nightstone. He was there. All dwarves lie. Hey, no. <laughs> hey, no. Well, luckily, I brought some communion with me. <laughs> I, just, I just got the, the title of the episode. <laughs> hey, no. Hey, All dwarves no. lie. All dwarves lie. Listen, he no be here. How do you, th why do you think he's here? We know he's here. Bring him out or you will all suffer. So here's the thing. He no be here. But I have something all his. Mayhap that be what you want. Are you kidding? You made a promise. That's true. I made a promise. Fuck. The people are promised. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have? Syphilis. Say syphilis. <laughs> you hear Thomas say in the background. <laughs> <laughs> it's the... the, the uh. <laughs> <sighs> oh, no. You, you realize you made yourself his name. <laughs> yeah. Listen, he's dead. I can prove it to you. Would that help things? Give me what we want. What do you want then? I want what you have. What is it? She looks over at one and they toss a rock. All right, bitch. Right. <laughs> so does that uh, count for my? Nope. You said this land door. Oh, right, our side. That's right. Never mind. Um, you see Here's one of die. the three frost giants Shield. in the back lobs a rock, and he lobs it not even at you. It's just a high and wide into lob into the town, and it's it goes far. Now you stop that shot. That's a warning shot. You stop that shot right now. Give me what I want. Don't make me come down there and break your fucking kneecaps, Carmen. Give me, uh, Mr. Carmen, just. Maybe we can just hand it over to them. If we're going to have a talk, we're going to talk civilized like. So you tell me what you're looking for and why you want no it. No dwarves are civilized. Oh, Throw it down you there. fucking bitch. <laughs> 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 Throw down the ring of winter. Why do you want it? Do it or pay. I'll come down there and pay up in person. <laughs> you oversized hooker? <laughs> That's the second rock lob, and the you catch a glimpse when you're looking around of Sheriff Markham's eyes, just like <laughs> <laughs> wide. I didn't think we should give it to him, Sheriff. Well, 
This isn't talking. I cannot do it without <laughs> Sarek's skull. If Sarek tells me to give it, then I can. It's up to him, but he told me to do something else with it. Go find him. Oh, that'd be my heart. <laughs> 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 we told him to stay put, and my mage made him invisible. We, You hear the crash of the rock finally landing in the back, and it looks like it definitely crashed right into a building. It smashes the roof in. Kind of like the uh, roofs of Nightstone, except this time the projectiles are not coming straight down. They're, They're crashing through. and rolling yeah. and um, doing more damage than normal. Stop killing folk. Where do giants find so many large rocks? That's what I want to know. You see uh, one everywhere. of them who has a, a large net and they have dragged up a bunch of rocks up the hill towards the city. you got the big stone sack. Hmm. The big stone sack. <laughs> As you look, you see one reloading, picking it up out of the net. Hey, now, hold, hold. Give us time to talk. Bring me the ring. Give us time to talk. You have one minute. <laughs> Go <laughs> Stop the invisibility. Go find that fuck. You can't just stop the invisibility, sir. You can stop concentrating. Stop the invisibility. <laughs> Go find that lad. Stop the invisibility Quick. and... I go, and I go. You run outside of the tower, and he's not far behind, but it looks like he's kind of hobbling. <laughs> <laughs> bring, him up, bring him back now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't find him, unless you went to look for him. Oh, no, no, I thought he was coming he up. Yeah, I think it was no, bringing him up. he's outside of the tower. Oh, okay. I'm trying to get him. He looks a little flustered, and a little startled by you, and a little apprehensive. He holds up his sword. <laughs> he's like, oh, maybe now? <laughs> what? What's happening? Are you are you No, you got Are you helping them? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> really? That's true. You didn't you're supposed to be the smart one. <laughs> this is the problem with intelligence scores in games. <laughs> here's the, here's the it's it's tough. I don't know what's going on. The frost giants want your ring. Carmen's not going to give it to him unless you give him permission. So just do what you do, do what you need to do. But Carmen wants to speak to you. It's not my ring. Well, that's not going with giants. I did make a promise. Listen, um, if you if you don't tell Carmen to give the ring to the giants, we are going to be. As you say for, that, um, you see another rock getting low, and you hear me yell, "Hurry, lad! Hurry, bring him here now!" <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, the fate of the city uh, lies in your hands. <laughs> no pressure, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is not how I pictured this going at all. You walk him up to the tower. I, Lad. It's your choice. It's your ring. I can't make that decision. Does it truly belong to me? I... I have the ring. Make us all invisible. We can leave. <laughs> you see one like ready I to lob it, it, and they hold their hand back up. I have the ring. Throw it down. You can take it from his cold dead corpse, right? Nay. <laughs> Are you yelling or talking? <laughs> I'm you, just talking to this. Listen. Here. Why do you harm the little people? Do you mean to do ill by everyone? Because if there's wickedness in you. I don't know if I should give it to you. It is a powerful relic. But if you just stop and do good. I don't know. It's a powerful relic. Mayhap we should just kill him. I'm very strong, Mitch, but probably not going to be winning. Throw it down now. Do you got a fake one to be throwing? Other rings? No. Nah. Or I will sound the attack. Make illusions? Markham, can the city take it? <laughs> <laughs> I pull off the ring. I use control water to make a little icy ring. <laughs> I pull off the ring. You pull off the ring. I have it. I'm coming out. Just toss it down. I didn't trust you. Ring, ding, 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 ding. The icy ring goes rolling. It's made of ice. 
All right. They take two steps back. <laughs> All right. No shenanigans or funny business. I'm coming out. I walked out of the door. Let me out. They I already have fireball. a little porticullis instead of opening the entire gate. Yeah. That's pretty heavily reinforced with steel. They open that up and let you out. Already an attack if yourself. they attack him. Yeah. I got fireball ready to go. Thomas, you didn't want to come? <laughs> He's going to be right next to him. <laughs> I don't care. He's not going to get hurt. He's Thomas, not gonna get he, hurt. you didn't want to come? Oh, I, all right, I will come with you, I guess, into a fighting. Why Thomas not? Thomas ducks out of the porticolas because these doors are so small. Board. They're made for dwarf folk. All right, I have the ring. Okay. Are you the rightful owner? Did Artis steal it from you? I am Droofy, leader of the Frost. <laughs> Par- pardon? What was that name again? <laughs> <laughs> Droopy? She looks down at you and you look up at this frost giant. It's about 15 feet high, about twice your height. So, so you she's are not the tallest of the you. three. Sure. I have the ring. What does it belong to you? Did I already st- steal it from you? It belongs to me now. Give it. And she holds out her hand. Wait. Are you Droopy of the Giant Dwarf Clan, or do you have a different last name? Let's see what their intelligence is. (laughs) I was just reading about you (laughs) in one of my storybooks. Intelligence of nine. I said (laughs) Droopy. All right, listen, Droopy. 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 Um... Why do you want the ring? <laughs> I didn't understand. You said you would give me the ring. I said I was coming out with it. Give it over. Give it over? You'll spare the town if I give it to you. We'll leave. <laughs> All right, fair enough. I gave her the ring. Your head's... Have my weasel carry it over to her so you don't risk life and limb. All right, that's fair. The weasel's bringing it over. <laughs> <laughs> How do you tie it on a little bit? Yeah. 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 He can just hold it in the mouth. The weasel ring bearer <laughs> leaps up and through the snow. You see it disappear every once in a while in the snow and then pop back out like a little uh, snake underground or something. And it just worms its way through all the way to Droofy. It pops its little head up and it's got the ring in between its teeth and uh, she pulls it from its teeth like that with her fingers because she's so large comparatively and you see it just start to slowly grow yeah to fit her in accordance to her size (laughs) (laughs) and (laughs) <laughs> she blows one of the uh, trumpets that she has on her <gasps> side, one of the large horns. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse <laughs> Make fair trade. And it's uh, she, just, she blows it twice. Two long toots on her horn. Are you believing now, yeah? We will leave you. Disappointing. Come. Did you want to fight? Always. She turned around with her other friends. Mayhap we make this sporting then. What? Make this sporting? That means. Let's put the ring on a wager. What is the wager? I already have the ring. You do, but you said you want to fight. I wouldn't mind killing another dwarf. Well, me and you, one-on-one, winner takes the ring. Done. (laughs) Well, what are you guys going to do tomorrow? eh? (laughs) (laughs) But no killing. Only unless someone's unconscious. That's the rules. 
Roll your initiative. Yep. <laughs> she doesn't even wait. She's just like, good, bam. <laughs> nice. Uh, 16. Uh, 18. 16. I should have sent you in. Yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> uh, like, uh, 36 to hit you. Uh, does it do it? Yeah. Yeah, does you are do fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to use this distraction to send the ferret up onto her boot. The back half of her boot. Onto her boot. Got it. Thanks. It was already in the snow. And over there. Um, She's very distracted, so her passive perception right now is a negative two. <laughs> yeah. um, an eight total. Right, yeah, yeah. So he won't have to yeah, roll. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Crushed it. He probably could just wander up as she uh, throws the tree to the ground because it looked more like it was going to be used as a battering ram than anything and pulls out a large axe. And when I say large axe, an axe made for a giant. Uh, at, this, at this point, I'm like, oh, modern, I think I fucked up. Your turn. Yeah, okay. Uh, my turn? Oh, should we all roll initiative? Uh, yes, if you're going to do anything, off. It might not take long. <laughs> I don't think we have multiple rounds to worry about here. Yeah, I got a 10. I got a 17. You gonna roll? Mm. Okay. Probably better if for you to roll If anyone's not in. doing anything, they're just waiting or holding their action for something, let me know. I'm just ready my fireball to put right on her if he dies. <laughs> 12, <laughs> you mean when? 12 is where I go in the initiative order. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to cast... I'll, I'll give you a freebie that while you were giving her the challenge, you had probably equipped your shield. Yeah. Well, I thought I kept it equipped ever since I was in the thing and I was running okay. with it on, I figured. I um, figured you probably have it equipped. Yeah. What did you roll for initiative? 17, 16. Hmm. So I'm going to cast... Spirit Guardians... Woo -woo. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to... How far away is she? She is... Not really far away. Because they were kind of near the front gate. So probably like 30 feet. Uh, I'll give you 25 feet. Nice. I charge! Or you could just hold your action until she gets to you. One of the two. No way. <laughs> I'm not a punk. <laughs> I go out there and I take it like a man. Okay, you equip your mall. So... Um, Actually, yeah, maybe I do want to hold my Warden action because Spirit Guardians is an action. So I cast Spirit Guardians and. Um, yeah, that's an action. So then I. A bunch of weird spectral drinking dwarves appear around me. That's your spirit guardian? That's right, yeah. Oh They're drinking buddies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she charges in without hesitation okay. and brandishes her great axe. When and she enters? When she enters your threat range of your guardians, yep. the drunken dwarves start doing drunken things. They'll harry her. Her speed is halved and she has to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Rub their beards on her. Natural 20. Well then. That sucks. Her speed is half. <laughs> her speed is half. She makes it to you still. Yep. With her speed of 40. So, she's 25. She, yep, she will. That's awesome. And she attacks. Yes, she will. Twice. Cool. <laughs> First swing. 25. That's a hit. Oh, dude. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you had no idea. I was like, whoa! Well, let's see if you stay up. Let's see if I stay up. It's like that? <laughs> well, I don't know. How many hit points do you have? 48. So you'll stay up. Uh, 23 damage. <laughs> <laughs> For her second attack. <laughs> she hits you, but not in a way that cuts into you. 
but the force is so strong, you manage to hold yourself and it slams the shield back in and up under your chin. I'm like, spit out a couple teeth. And then she hits again. <laughs> well, that was fast. 24. Yeah, man, it's whatever. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Much better for you with a 2, 1, and a 1 that makes a total of 10 damage. Oh, God. <laughs> Your turn. Oh, damage. Come on, do it. Okay. Do the Spirit was... Guardians do anything else? Uh, that's every turn she has to make save. Okay. They're not guarding very well. <laughs> <laughs> so, I am going to physician heal thyself. <laughs> <laughs> Um, You're now thinking you might not have meant to ever go out and face them yeah, in one-on-one -on -one combat. Yeah, this was horrible. This was horrible. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to cast a... Good God. You're going to cast the Good God? Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> I am going to cast... Um, a Healing Word... No, I'm going to cast a Cure Wounds. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, it's better than healing. Well, I guess you get a bonus action to an action. I do get a bonus action. So, that's fine. Uh, cure Wounds. Should I even put on the battle music? No. I'm going to do it. Dun, 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 so, 3d8 over. plus 4, 5, 6, 7, 3, 8 plus 7. So, 8 and 6 is 14 and 7 is 21. 21. Heal, and then I'm going to cast the magic keg. Oh, I can't. It's going to take down spirit. But you can't do it because it's a... Uh, it's not concentration. Because it's not a cantrip. Right, it's not a cantrip. So I'm going to do no things. I can't. They're not bonus actions. How many turns does it take to get down the tower, by the way? Uh, one turn. Okay. Okay. Can so I, I, I like heal myself, and I go... Uh, <laughs> I get ready for another swing. What was your uh, initiative? Uh, my initiative was a 10. So she is going to attack twice, and then you can do something. You look really bad. Yeah, dude, that shot knocked out some of my teeth. She hits. 19? Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, you got rid of the shield of faith and such. I didn't cast shield of faith. Oh, you're only a... 18. 18. Yeah. She hits... Oh, I'm rolling a d20 in there. <laughs> Sorry, let's do that. Uh, 26. Okay. Slump. I'm like I'm like a drunk guy on his feet right now. Oh, on her turn, she has to make a wisdom save. Uh, 13? Oh. 3d8 necrotic, or, I mean, uh, radiant. So she'll take... 13 damage. Boop. The dwarves attack her. 13 damage. Go I'll drunk write dwarves. Down if it matters. She rolls to hit you again. Yeah, she hits me again. I'm done. She hits me again. Roll damage. She hits you again. And this time you see Carmen buried into the snow. But it looks like she turned the axe from blade side up to flat side. And she smashed him so hard that you hear part of well, his armor... Roll the damage. Crack. My shield is scarred forever. Oh, yeah. 35? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm jacked up. I'm out. <laughs> Pachunk. Da -da. She raises her fist in victory. She turns back towards the other two giants that are standing next to her. And the others that are now starting to join her after she sounded the horn twice. She holds up the ring in the other hand. They all let out a mighty shout, a cheer, which would probably um, do some permanent damage to your eardrums if you weren't able to protect them. Except for you. Yeah, I'm out. I'm like, <laughs> damage eardrums. <laughs> and they roam back down the hill slowly. She goes, it's a shame I couldn't have killed him. She laughs as they leave. I'll wake up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> that was an interesting that was horrible. events. <laughs> I offer myself as tribute. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I had faith. As I thought, battle might be quick. Oh, God. It was brutal. And, um... You know, I think I would have actually stood a better chance. <laughs> if it's nighttime. Yeah, because you're ranged. Oh, I guess that's true. And I can also move faster than she does if she ends within combat range. Yep. If she ends her turn, mm -hmm. you have to take a turn of damage first. If she gets to you. But you probably could. You probably shouldn't have fought her one. -on -one. No, that was horrible. We shouldn't have fought them at all. I should just toss the ring the that first was a and boulder That over. was the nicest giant you'll ever meet. Zephyros was okay. No kidding. <laughs> she was the she nicest giant I'll ever meet. She gave you your life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She you, gave her the ring. Yeah. I don't know what else we could have done. I guess if you're a super evil party, you could sneak out under cover of darkness. Invisibility. Uh, you could stay behind the walls and shot them. <laughs> I mean, I was or thinking not. about doing it, but that would have gotten we'll rid of We'll fight him one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, totally. Let it never be said that Carmen Burrow found is a wuss. Okay. So, your friend is now laid out in the snow as the giants oh, finally that's leave. Real bad. Weasel's still attached like a little larva. Just won't leave its cocoon of her clothing. Yeah, it is. We'll worry about you later. <laughs> you can dismiss it and summon it back to you. Oh. After we get a little look-see. Hmm? Figure out where they're going. Maybe figure out what she wanted with it. If she keeps it, yada, yada, yada. You are a smart mage. I keep seeing it. Uh, he's smart with his own abilities. Yeah. He's <laughs> not smart. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done, well, you know, you math know, problem. He didn't fight a giant. So maybe he is See? smart. He's smarter than me. <laughs> <you. laughs> <Yeah, right. laughs> We're close to the same IQ, actually. In limbo competition, only have to go a little bit beyond the others. That's fair. So, they drag the dwarf back inside. They never open the gate, even though the giants are long gone. I should have made concentration saves too every time she hit me. Yeah, you would have dropped that. I'm sure. It's it done matter. now. <laughs> the 13 damage you would have done probably wouldn't have happened. Yeah, negligible. That was not a good idea. That was horrible. <laughs> I'm impressed at how horrible it was. <laughs> if they had managed to break through eventually, then maybe you could have sta stood while your friends defend you for at least a couple turns. Then I don't think turn I could, the tides of war. I can't take more than four swings. Yeah, it so was that would have been fast. It was horrible. It was bad. It was real bad. That was like, not how this encounter is supposed to go. I'm gonna let you know that. <laughs> that was something. Yeah, nobody who ever ever runs this campaign is gonna have that situation. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, true. Nobody ever will because the ring's not part of it. Oh, yeah, it's not part of this one anymore either. <laughs> That's just gone. That's now. true. That's true. Give us the ring. I was like, I'll kill all the villagers. So, what are you guys doing now that you watched your friend get his ass beat? I'm laughing. Mm -hmm. Remember that time you didn't drink the drink? Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> I, <can't laughs> I come down with a rope. I can help. Drink? I'll give you a drink, brother. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Piss in my mouth while I'm sleeping. <laughs> not because I didn't think about it. Not going to respect this guy anymore. <laughs> Cut his beard off. <laughs> Cut his beard, pissing his ale. <laughs> wow, guys. Wow. <laughs> Uh, Thomas wouldn't cut your beard off because he has a big beard too. So he understands. So. Mm. Well, looks like we're staying here for a few days. <laughs> Get st stupid little guy back on his feet. Does that only take an hour? Or you get one hit point. I mean, yeah. One hit point is not leave town and go adventuring hit points. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> That'll be a short rest at least. But if we want to uh, make it to the town within a week, it's already been three days, and it's a three-day travel. I mean, I can get know. myself back up to 25 as soon as I wake up. Well, we don't need to worry about bringing oh, fuckstick on an adventure 24. Anymore. No, but we still have the uh, stuff to take care of, and... Uh, I'll use my... Hundlestone? Hundlestone. We need to go to Hundlestone, but we don't need this uh, 
the three day travel. Captain Baggage over here either anymore. Yeah, the ring's gone. Yeah, so my we, dad we has don't, been destroyed. We don't need him to come with us to some adventure. Mm -hmm. He can go do what he wants. Yeah. So you guys pull his body back inside, and hmm. Sheriff Markham, I. He's not going to pay us for that. That was <laughs> ill-advised. <laughs> Either way, you you saved our city without a fight. You saved many lives today. Or he did. He looks down at the poor <laughs> wretch of a... Half, half my teeth are gone. <laughs> and I'm like, no, but you do have this big, giant, massive goose egg at the bottom of your chin, which... No one will even see, because it's hidden by your beard, luckily. Nice. <laughs> I still look tough. And you do have kind of a big red mark right across the side of your face, where she planted her axe at the very end. Your face took most of it. Oh, you probably have a horrible bruise over there and a black eye and shit. It looks bad. I bet it's real bad. <laughs> the one side of your face will just Swole, be like... <laughs> you're just swollen <laughs> looking Elephant black man. and blue. <laughs> oh, so good. Either way, he he did our town a service. Uh, <laughs> just go with it. Just go with it. Sort of. <laughs> okay. This is where the intelligence is going to bite you in the ass. <laughs> I don't know. He could have definitely spared those three boulders flying into your town. <laughs> Perhaps. But... He did what he thought was right. Do you guys get a lot of giants coming, smashing your things? I'm as surprised as you are about this. They haven't been to this town ever. But obviously, we have defenses for this kind of thing, but... The droopy lady seemed like she knew things. I wonder if someone that knew about the ring told her? I bet that Ogdrick guy sold us up the river. Or maybe, will never do that. maybe your Harper friend. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> he doesn't seem to understand the reference. Okay. Interesting. You guys are going to be traveling between the ten towns. <laughs> well, maybe someday. We have to get our broken man back. But, yes... We have a meeting in Hunnelstone that ideally we we're going to be leaving today, so we'll see how see how Carmen feels when he wakes up. If you are traveling, I'll give you a temporary deputization. Oh, I will be deputy. You all would be. Yes, but I will be boss deputy. I'll give you the paperwork for it. Mm, okay. That way, anywhere you go, any of these ten towns, and if you look at the map, there are like ten towns across that entire northern region. Hundleston's the closest, but there's towns that are really far away. Hmm. If you go to any of these towns... You have dominion over all ten. No, but being a deputy, they'll give you room and board wherever you go. Oh, this is very kind. I don't know how long we'll be staying in those ten towns, but... Well, forever. Certainly couldn't hurt. <laughs> yeah, right. You're like, always. Yes. Oh, we have free housing. <laughs> Why make adventure to go leave somewhere else where we had to pay to stay? I have free housing anywhere I go. That's what I'm saying. We do. We all do now. No, I mean, well, we miss. It's, oh, it's yes, free. anyone can sleep in dirt pit for free. No, but only fool pay to sleep in dirt pit. <laughs> Thank you. He's not talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> You are the defenders of Icewind Dale. We, we will add it to our resumes, that's for sure. I'm glad to hear that not many of your people were injured. One more tall tale for others, right? Yep. This is exactly <laughs> the sort of thing that happens to us that no one else really believes. <laughs> this one, one time my dwarf fought a giant. <laughs> sort of. Single combat. <laughs> He got all the way out to her. <laughs> Actually, she got to him. <laughs> I will be the... Oh. In more than one way. Oh, it was bad. But awesome. 
If you ever find your way making it down towards Silvery Moon, there's someone there that's stolen a sword. It no longer belongs to them, they've passed, and it's kind of just up in the air as who has ownership of it. Oh, that's perfect. That's actually our specialty to have relics and items that have dubious ownership. <laughs> kind of well, I have thing. a claim to this sword. Oh. But I'm not making my way down there. This is my home. It is a sword of the Giant Slayer. The best part is that no one can use it except for the ranger. I specialize in giants. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> He could use it. If he has a two-handed weapon. Or do you want to switch to a one-handed weapon? Didn't say what kind of sword. Oh, that's good. It would be a two-handed. That'd be good. Although it wouldn't be a staff. It would not be magic stuff. It's a magic sword? We'll see. There's a place there called Zamorvan Hall where the Lord Hathos has this sword. He's kept it, kept watch of it, but no one really owns it or uses it. Sorry, I'm going more southern. Less southern. <laughs> more or less southern. <laughs> Clearly there was more less than did. What this man did with the sword while he owned it, it couldn't have been good. He was not a good man. And he died by execution. So, hmm. now you know the story of my brother. Ooh. Hmm. He was killed by sword? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> now you're living up to your time today. <laughs> so, why do you tell us this story? Are you looking for us to get this relic for you? It's just an option. <coughs> if you're going to be up in the north, if you're going to be fighting giants, it's made to do that. If you would like us to bring it to you, we could... Do so if you give us paperwork that says so. I'll give you paperwork that you can be the owners of it. Let's go find That's Silvery fair. Stone. Silvery Moon. Sword. It, he looks like he's kind of lost in memories. My brother, we never saw eye to eye. However. He must be taller than you. A little bit. I really don't want it. It's just, a lot of that going too much change. <laughs> yes. History doesn't repeat itself, but it rhymes. And use it to take back my ring. Mm -hmm. I'll never see that ring again. <laughs> Better hope not. <laughs> Listen, be our... bitch! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> I'll draw up some paperwork. For the deputization, for the claim to the sword. Thank you. You're welcome. As we walk away, I'm just going to look at these guys. <clears throat> you know, he, he could have told us about that sword when we started talking about the giants beforehand. And all the jobs we wanted to do, you know. This guy. <laughs> I believe that there is a certain amount of trust required to tell us about this kind of a thing. So it wasn't until after he trusted us that he told us. That is true. He must have trust issues. Probably because his brother betrayed him and stole the sword. And did bad things with it. Also, we probably should have a talk with Mr. Carmen about going one-on-one -on -one <laughs> with a giant. I don't think you'll have to do that. He wakes up and he's like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <clears throat> well, Dora, she is not too far away when you guys are leaving the tower and she'll actually uh, meet you to join you as you guys walk to wherever you're headed with your friend in tow. Who's dragging my my unconscious form? Well, probably a big man. 
Most likely. That's fair. A little Bellatora. So that was interesting. Uh, to say the least. Are you going to be heading to Humblestone soon? I'm um, still ready to go. Been waiting. Um, we're on day five now. Uh, Wasn't it three days? No. It seems like five. Hmm. She is good counter. Uh, yes, as soon as uh, we get Mr. Carmen all patched up and ready to go, we'll be leaving. Well, I would love to come with you. Um, please don't leave without me. I haven't seen Flip in a while, and I don't want to roam these uh, roads alone, especially after this, considering. Didn't even get to try out my new gadget. She taps the harpoon with the little grappling hook on the back. Based on the look of the dwarf, I wouldn't say that you'd want to test it out on those ones. I wasn't planning on doing it one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not stupid, I see. Yeah. <laughs> You were she gifted with Harper intelligence. She's like, man, that looks like it's got to hurt. And she runs her <laughs> hand over this large like bump on his head. Like Do you think Carmen did the right thing by giving the ring back to them? Got the giants out of here. I suppose so. Hmm. Could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot better I look back at Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I really don't know what to say about that kind of a, a wager that was just a losing proposition from the beginning sometimes men just want to get ass kicked <laughs> you know it's bad when Thomas is the one that's like yeah that was alright <laughs> <laughs> so Bill when we get to Hundlestone your diddlers they will take care of us <laughs> Pardon me. You did what? You know. Do, 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 do. A musical instrument of some sort. <laughs> oh, of course. Don't you, talking you, don't you mean diddle, hey, diddle, 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 diddle. Actually, you probably have. You must have connection for getting new trumpet. Sometimes you're like the best and worst person <laughs> playing at the same time. It's like fucking magical. <laughs> <laughs> no. You wear a pin. You know where all the magic and music is, right? We need to know music. Uh, Mr. Thomas, what is your fascination with all this music talk? I I once had amazing horn and it got thrown out the window of Flying Castle. Uh, yes, because um, if you don't mind me saying, it was um, truly annoying, and especially to that giant. I am uninterested with giant opinions. They are big creatures who do not understand nuance. Can I try to cure into what his malfunction is? <laughs> I'm uh, saying so you basically have, you say, yes, instrument? the people who play the harps, the harpers, the yeah. musical instrument, the harp, is what we're speaking of. Yeah, the diddlers. Oh wow. <coughs> she gives another wow. That connection was not there at all. Also. I know, that's... You did not understand. You're making the all. music. You're talking about the wrong instrument. You're just, yeah, the, one, you know where I one music so store you're in a different world. <laughs> all to your own. Well, you need to learn to keep up, okay? <laughs> Conversation is going to wait for the lowest common denominator. So you're leaving <laughs> tomorrow? Uh, yes, we'll leave tomorrow morning. I'll let Are you know. Be I'm still here? staying at Kelvin's. <laughs> uh, yes, we'll be staying at Kelvin's. You can go turn on the AC more. Look, you don't have to worry about amazing. the attachment or nothing. <laughs> I'll come meet you there. Excellent. She walks off before Thomas can ask her any more questions. <laughs> uh, Thomas, I, I believe there's something I should be cluing you in on. Uh, as long as there's no other ears around here. And I kind of take a look around if, to see if anybody's like listening to me or with an earshot. You're so good with secrets. <laughs> yeah, I know. It might not be inconspicuous. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, 
I really like bacon. Anyway, and they decide not to tell him at the last second, and we start having to... Bacon. <laughs> he did not eat much bacon. This is an obvious lie. <laughs> he pulled apart one piece. Did not even eat it. He did the old trick with little girls who do not want to eat because they will get fat so they pull it apart into little pieces and spread it apart on their plate. My brother does that. <laughs> <laughs> the humorous world of eating disorders. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, <clears throat> you guys head back to Kelvin's Comfort where... Um, you see at the stables just before you get there, Sir Beric, he's um, saddling his war horse. Looks like he's getting ready to depart. Well, the, the town is saved. He sheathes his sword completely and straps it on. And so unfortunately you did not see as much action as the dwarf did. Oh no, I saw it. It was... Well, I saw it from... <laughs> from safe. <laughs> we, we can perhaps have statue of his crumpled corpse <laughs> as defender of Bryn Chander. We'll make a giant statue of him on the ground with an axe and um... <laughs> in my face. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> he, look, he looks like stepped on spider. <laughs> All crumpled up, bowed limbs and such. Well, I hate to say that I'm going to be leaving. I enjoyed your guys' company. You're leaving? Order your head to. I thought you wouldn't leave because this is your home. This is not my home. You got me mixed up with someone else. I'm the one who hates the North. I don't know who I'm talking to then. I am Sir Beric. <laughs> he was oh, the guy. Oh, that the guy. He, that yeah, guy. he doesn't go anywhere. You coming to Hundlestone with us? No, I'm not going to Hundlestone. You going to Silvery Moon with us? No. I'm right, going to you... go back to the south, very far south. He's out. He's like, Water Cross eat. Giants, fuck this piece. Hey, well, what you should do is you go all the way down to Nightstone and tell them that uh, the dwarf messed up his mission pretty bad. <laughs> Make sure everyone knows. <laughs> Thanks, Maybe Thomas. you see it that way. I don't really see it. No, he way. saved City for sure, but definitely did not deliver a ring to the proper person. It's just a ring. He gave it to Is Giants. Is a ring worth everyone's lives here? No. I mean, these things happen. There's no no way around that. But his mission, go 12,000 miles, give to Sun, instead to give it to Girl Giant. He proposed, basically. <laughs> I could probably do worse. <laughs> is he, he is still alive, right? He's looking at him. Yeah, yeah uh, look. Mostly. You go like yeah. this, he breathes. <laughs> he pulls nose. out a potion and <laughs> pours it down <laughs> in his throat. Oh, nice. No, just, this is the same move he does to you, Artie. Okay, how much do I get? Ah, uh, it's a very basic potion. So you get 2d4 plus 2, so 7 hit points. I forget, was this guy someone we didn't like, or was he okay? Okay, he so I'm like, okay. Okay. he was just new. Just oh. new yeah. He's kind of bland gray. Gotcha. Uh, Mr. Carmen. No, uh, Mr. Conjurer. I, that didn't go the way I saw it going in my head. My head. No, oh, don't touch that. Oh, oh, oh god! Oh. Yeah, you better wash your hands before you touch that. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you oh, do, painful. if you do I, touch it, I'd recommend a healing spell on it. Oh, I. Yes. Uh, well, how did you see that going in your head? Better. I don't think Luckily, there's a good way for an axe to go into a head. Yeah, really. it did not actually go into your head. It just stopped oh, it at didn't the skin. It? it feels like well, it I did. I mean, it kind of flattened. Oh, it, so you yeah. could call Fuck it. Fuck's sake! Going you have great asymmetrical face now. Oh. By Morden's you know, lumpy it actually anvil. makes your beard look longer, oddly, because no. you're... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, careful, you have spider in there. <laughs> I mean, hey, when, I when you make egg. the head, like, squish, it kind of makes it look everything. like everything longer. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll heal myself to 24. <laughs> okay. Because I have uh, that, like, deal where I can heal myself up to half or heal anybody. I can spread it out, but no one else is hurt but me. So, so what? would you like to head to Humblestone oh. today, or would you like to wait a couple days? I maybe wait till tomorrow. I'll leave in the morning if that's all right. I get a fair bit of drinking to do. You can relax in the in the wagon. We got three days of travel. That was true. I guess I have my keg. I mean, we could leave tonight if you want to, but I'm no not good for much till the morning probably. 
<laughs> Minor scuffle may happen. <laughs> Where are you folks headed? Besides Hundlestone. I think Hundlestone is the next leg in our journey, and we don't know too much of where we're going after that. We might go to, what was it, Silver? Silvery Moon. Silvery Moon? But Silvery perhaps. Moon. That's Honestly, about, I don't even know where that is on the map. <laughs> that's about the most uh, travel we have pre-planned. I ate Hundlestone first. Oh, I think Silver Lord. Was really far. Lord, and that was fucking horrible. That was definitely the implication. I believe our Arthur would... Are you interested in traveling today, or did you want to wait until Straight tomorrow? Straight to the east, almost. Wingo today. Waste. That'll be all right. To get to Silvery Moon, you have to pass Mirabar. All right. I know some people up in that area. And I wanted you to have this. <laughs> he hands you a ring. <laughs> <laughs> Get no, no, door. please, no. <laughs> Lord Morden, forgive me. <laughs> no, I don't. I, I'm like... <laughs> I just like, start crying. <laughs> like PTSD. Actually, you know what? Blessed. It's not actually a ring. It looks like it would clasp onto your ring that you currently have. Oh, okay. Which the ring you have is the ring, ring for the uh, Order of the Gauntlet. Right. Your acts today prove that you're a valuable member of the Order of the Gauntlet. Hey, look at you getting you're promotion. you're looking out for the better of the people in the cities and the towns. I Take this to someone there. He gives you a name of someone he knows. I'll give you that name in a minute. Okay. And not only will you receive a promotion, but with the promotion, you'll get a new set of armor. Ah, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. You need it. I I do. I look at the golf and like beat up. And maybe a new shield, or maybe they can patch that one up. May have the patchwork will be fine. And you look at your shield for the first time. And they knew set of trousers. Rack. Will it still work until it'll I still get it? Work. Okay, all right. Might need to clean out your pants as well. I. <laughs> <laughs> it's too bad you don't know that cantrip, huh? <laughs> yeah, <I> cast guns. <laughs> <laughs> the smell <laughs> walks away. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm sure this town appreciates you, and I appreciate seeing those good men still in this world. I can let the whole town suffer just because I didn't want to give up a drink. As fancy as it was, frosted my drinks. Things are cold enough here already. I don't guess I don't need to frost them until I get south, and then I'll figure something else out. You are probably going to be feeling like you need warmer first. True. Worth investigating. So, yes, if you pass by Mirabar, and you should talk to... There's a man there named Lucas King. Lucas King. He'll give you everything that's listed here if you need any armor arms and he'll outfit your entire party if needed I am mighty generous of you good deeds should not go punished I appreciate that makes it sense. <laughs> I didn't do it for a reward but uh, it's nice to receive one anyways <laughs> Now I would like to stop in someplace before we leave and get a drink. Are we leaving tonight? If you wish. Yes, go get your diddler friend. <laughs> <laughs> she will have to keep us... What? <laughs> How much did I miss? How long was I out? <laughs> Not long enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm begging your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't beg his pardon. I right, fair enough. So you'll head back to the bar. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll, try, I'll go try to find Room Hilda. <laughs> <laughs> Beldora? Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Beldora? <Room> Hilda? <laughs> uh, yeah, she'll be at Kelvin's already. Waiting right. for you guys. You guys walk into Kelvin's, and they already have the drinks set. 
They nice. saw you outside I'm all black waking and blue up. And shit. <laughs> like, uh, you look a lot better, although there's still a black eye. Most of the swelling's gone down from your healing. Um, it's still really red compared to your pallid complexion. Thank you much. I'll have he another. Do another. He <laughs> <laughs> saw that bottle. one. Yeah, right. <laughs> I will cast good berry and give you all ten good berries. Oh. Dear. Feel free to snack on these in between the beers. Such a good friend. I could ask for better traveling companions. I'm just like... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> True. And did you want to do anything tonight? Anyone? Uh, I'll just sit and laugh about how stupid it was to challenge a giant to fair combat. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, you need that unfair combat for that shit. No shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's nothing fair about dying. No, fighting a giant is bad news. Yeah, and then drink and then leave, right, whenever we're ready. Okay, so it's a little bit of revelry. Um, a lot quieter than the other nights that you've been drinking just because of what's been going on. How much do I owe these guys for all the drinking I've been doing? Uh, the... They cleared your tab. Oh, nice. They're great guys, so I'm just removing Oops, the 10 for yeah. <laughs> the fight from or for the casting of familiar. Yeah. Sweet. Definitely get rid of that. Well, that pays quest to be a is hero. gone. I'm just looking through the quests like, okay, <laughs> that, that one, one's gone. That one. <laughs> <laughs> We're just dodging all the quests. Yep. Where where is Silvery Moon? Super it is straight east. Oh, is it straight east? Oh, down there. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of by. Do we have to pass the cloth and veil in order to get by it? To get, we're going to go Brinchander, Hundlestone, cloth and veil. And then well, you could over pass here through the cloth and veil, mirror but I would bar. not suggest Okay, so Let's road see. south. Got it. Yeah, we're going to head to Mirror Bar first. So and then kind we... of do an angle, <laughs> come back up. Yep. Straight east oh, of wait, us. There's Yartar. That was something that doesn't matter. Nope. <laughs> then, that's the one I just passed by. Silver it doesn't moon. matter. Bye bye, quest. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, yeah, that's a hike. Silvery moon. Mirror bar. Man, to get get to Silvery Moon would be equivalent of walking back to Waterdeep. Yep. Mm. Well, then the walking moon. It's will that go. far, but east instead of the north. Let's see how many quests we pick up along the way and get rid of. Pretty how about I can get plate in Mirror bar? I wonder how long I can stretch, how far I can stretch this thing. Yes. I need Norman new plate armor. Yeah, it used to be plate. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard it became chain mail. <laughs> See how many holes they poked in it. Yeah. This is only half plate. Are you sure she the had an axe broken. and not a mace? Right. Hmm. So we take our drinks and we go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, you take your drinks, go, and right before you're ready to leave, <coughs> Duvessa walks in the bar. Who the, the hell is Duvessa? Speaker. The speaker. Speaker of the house. Hi, speaker. <laughs> Come, have a drink. I won't it's be on, drinking, thank you. It's on you, probably. <laughs> I am here to thank you for your services. Obviously, the things you've done will not go unnoticed by me or by anyone in the city, and we want you to know that. I'm glad we could be helpful. I have one small request. By the time we get back, have horns for sale, okay? Easy peasy. What kind of horns? Trumpets, bugles. I'm, I'm like standing, I'm doing the thing that I do sometimes. Sometimes <laughs> I stand Conch behind shots. and I'm like, etc. I'll look into it. We can make so <laughs> fixated. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> this is not even the story of King's Thunder. It's like. <laughs> no, none of this is. We're just making it up as we go. <laughs> Hi, speaker. I wish there was more I could have done. What more could more, you have More are done. <laughs> more are done, done. More I dead. wish I had been faster to leave the gate. <laughs> <laughs> those little and legs. Spare you, spare you some of those uh, rocks over the wall. I am sorry that I wasn't quicker to it. I apologize. There's nothing to apologize for. Markham's told me you're leaving. Aye. To Hundlestone. Mm -hmm. And then to Silvery Moon. Him and I, we come from the same place. We both come from Mirabar. Hey, we're stopping different off times, Mirabar. Different generations. I know. He told me. She smiled. I have an aunt 
in Mirabar. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You kidding me? Thank you, note taker. <laughs> <laughs> Her name is Anerva. And she can pretty much get passage to and from anywhere by the, the rivers that run through the Sword Coast and through the Midlands as well. Look her up. Hi. She'll help you out. Thank it's you much faster to travel than by horse. Do this. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Duvet. So she hands you Markham's letters of deputization. Hi, right, what's this? Oh, so we're very official. We're deputies. Yes. <laughs> we are all big damn heroes now. Aye. I'm, I've been practicing my introduction. I am now Thomas Sato, magician of Red Rock. Friend of Giant and Dragon, Defender of Bryn Shander, Deputy Sheriff of the Ten Cities. Sounds very impressive, right? <laughs> I do. You should have seen the heroism after you, uh, well, you went down, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> mayhap, we may have no... <laughs> yes, per perhaps for your sake we will not mention... Giant Axe. <laughs> Thank you much. You're too kind. That was a horrible decision. Yeah. And when I when I lie, my ears turn pink. <laughs> I'm all blue, but my ears just go. <laughs> when you <wink>. lie, whenever. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Though you probably don't know why yet. The message yeah, just um, listens to your weird chatter and banter. Anyway, Thank tell you. tell us more. So, no, don't tell us. Mir Mirabar, Min Minerva, the aunt of the speaker Duvet Shane in Mirabar. She can. Uh, She'll help us get passage to help Silvery us Moon. Get passage to yeah. anywhere you need to go. <gasps> oh, oh. Along the river. Along the rivers, but it's faster to travel along the river, anyways. And a lot of the uh, barges they can take horses with them. So that way, once you get to your destination, you can continue by horse. Mm. We really need flying unicorn for probably fastest travel. I bet she can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. What is it? What that's fascination of horns for you? I don't know. They're they're excellent. Oh my God. She just walks out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Goodbye, Duvessa. She's very, um, not like a speaker should be, um, gracious yes. and social. Good luck in your Whatever. new not profession. With us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As far as you know. With those guys. In your experience. Well then, are we ready? I cast Fireball on the town. <laughs> just a party. The whole town. Ooh. Just cleansing it. <laughs> cleansing the world. Be healed. <laughs> <laughs> find familiar do you automatically get a link or do you have to activate that link um you know what i've always played the warlock version i think so it's within a mile mm -hmm. i guess i have no idea let's see find familiar <coughs> yeah within a mile maybe and within so many I don't know how far it is, but less than that, you can like see through their eyes and hear through their hearing. Yeah. But do you have to actively make that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you gotta like do it. It doesn't just happen. There's no like passive link. Yeah, I no. think if it's killed within a mile, you kind of get a You'd a blip. Know. Yeah, because you're concentrating on it. I yeah. Think. Well, you're not as an right, action. Concentrate. Gotcha. You can see. So as an action, you can see through its eyes and hear what it hears until right. the start of your next turn. Getting benefit of special senses that a familiar has. Um, also, as an action, you can temporarily dismiss it into a pocket dimension. Yada, yada, yada. You can make it reappear next to you, can you? Yep. If it's temporarily dismissed, you can make it reappear in an unoccupied space within 30 feet of you. So the way I see it is he could telepathically communicate with it until the mile goes. And then after the mile goes, you would have to call it back and... Re, uh, re have it appear next to him to get any information from it. Right, but he can be like, "What did you see?" Yeah, 
Oh, so it can still be active beyond a mile. Yeah. Yeah, he just can't tune into it the same way. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good to know. You guys patch yourselves up, drink a lot, and get ready to mm-hmm. hit the road. And all your right, horses so are all at the stables. Bad news. What's up? Mm-hmm. Um, for the non warlocky version, it's within 100 feet of you. Oh. That you can be in its head? Yep. Oh, so it's already outside the radius, but mm-hmm. you can still do the call back and bring back. Yep. What happened, bro? No, hmm? ask. You can ask it when it comes back. Oh, right? you can ask who, it. Who? What? No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We just left. <sighs> Let's patch ourselves up and get that guy down. You buy many food rations. I gotta get warmer furs. Yeah, you do. Now you do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How much is that gonna cost? On the house. Mm-hmm. Dude, these guys love me. Well, yeah, they love you. You <laughs> saved their town. <laughs> what what buildings were destroyed? Uh, all residences. <sighs> Killed some kids. Okay. Is anybody hurt? Probably all the um, kids that you taught, Gust. No one is <laughs> injured. There were four deaths. Hmm. How heavy is the head? Where's the crown or the ring? All four or children that you talk to us. <laughs> I never want to magic ring again. <laughs> All of them were children. Oh my god! <laughs> the dice <laughs> hath spoken. <laughs> horrible. Oh, Carmen is not cool with it. He's super messed up. Yeah, we probably don't tell you. <laughs> Well, as soon as we find Mr. Artigan, not again, RT. Arthur. 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 Arthur again. Arthur. We got out of here. We, we go on the wagon. Aye. Okay. So Arthur rejoins him. you. We have horses, right? We don't have a wagon. You have horses. Not Maybe we can get a wagon on the, on the on house. house. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a wagon? Wagon will slow us down. Only if it's fist wagon. It'll make us go slower. Horses are faster than the wagon. Are we traveling with your lady friend? Yep. Perhaps we have wagon for you? You need wagon space? No, thank you. <laughs> she brings her own horse. <laughs> I could and if you want, you can each have a horse. Like, you already have two, okay. so you can get two more horses. <sighs> Hey, let's get two horses. Everything's oh, I thought we we had two ha- two horses each, so we could like rotate well, we them. Two horses each. How would you rotate two horses each? Can I fill my keg? They with get the more fire tired when you're riding on them. Probably barely. Yep. Can I? Can I? Okay. Can I fill my keg with the fire brandy on the house? That's a tall order. Whoa! They're like, yeah, you can, we can, we're gonna rename the town after you, but <laughs> but, <no. laughs> but brandy. Oh nope. No, no, I get it. Do you I, have inspiration? I roll an eight. Yeah, I do, but I'm not going to buy it. Now. You're not going to use inspiration on alcohol? For, for real. I'll just buy it if I have to. <laughs> How much? A whole keg? Hey. Like your keg or a whole keg? My whole keg. Um, your whole keg? 50 gold. I don't get the discount. <laughs> <laughs> that is the discount. Holy shit. Maybe I'll take a flask. It has more than 50 drinks. Uh, so good. I but the lads wouldn't like me spending all... Hi. What do you think? Party, party decision. No. What do you two say? Hey. <laughs> I'm thinking that we likely will get room and board. Some of it might be included with drinks, so I don't believe we would necessarily need to bring that money and drinks with us. Thomas? Pass. Ah, fuck. All right. <laughs> the jury has spoken. Like, I'll give you a flask for five gold. I done. <laughs> Still party gold. <laughs> yep. It's I, worth, I figure, uh, it's a pretty big flask. I figure you're probably using your own funds for it. But What funds? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't have them separated. It's kind of you. I don't know that. Right, true. All right. Five gold it is. Chink. Boom. 
sweet. You set the money on the counter, he gives you the flask, and it's a very finely crafted metal flask. And you guys move on with Beldora and Toe down to Hundlestone. And I think we'll call it here to make Hundlestone the next part of the journey. Before we go, we'll do Roses and Thorns. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. Hmm. You don't know? Yeah, you're going to have to be doing... You want to recap? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what happened. Matt, do a recap. He got his ass beat. That's it. Bod. You also wore some orange juice and got throat raped by Carmen and some whiskey. It's <laughs> <laughs> like something out of a pork. Oh, hub. no. <laughs> uh... Wow. Well, before we do Roses and Thorns, let's go ahead and... Do a few shout outs. Illbeard, thank you for the Ill 24 beard. month subscription. Woo! Wow. Illbeard, still hanging with us. Unbelievable. Still yeah, around. especially after the last few seconds. <laughs> I think there's more here. It's not updated yet, so. Did we get scolded for not socially distancing? No. I mean, you just get corona for not socially distancing. <laughs> That's its own reward. <laughs> we got Terhassen, thank you for your follow. Endless Nirvana, thank you for the gift sub to VNK. And welcome Yee. to the Breakfast Club, VNK. And that That's is all the messages for today. Let's go ahead and do roses and thorns. Hmm. I'll start. My rose. Or my thorn. Maybe both. It seems to happen like that a lot. Mm -hmm. Let's just say the combat with the Giants was supposed to actually be a combat with the Giants, and that probably would have filled out the rest of the session. Oh, for sure. And some. Yeah. But instead, we gave up the ring. I really wasn't expecting that, honestly. Who's going to fight 15 Frost Giants? 12. The you had walls and a gate and guards. I also had, had an escape plan. I'm sure. You also had the NPCs, which uh, if the combat happened, I was going to give you each control of one of those NPCs. They all did their own things. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, that would have been... You, go stand out there. <laughs> yeah, slap. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they slap, you lose the quest of whatever they had. Mm -hmm. They all had different things to do get... for you. Yeah. Except Sarah, he no longer has a quest. <laughs> <laughs> so fuck you guys. Um, That's fair. I'm going to say that was my thorn. I wanted to see you fight some giants, but not one on one. Because that wasn't even fair. That, that was, was horrible. That was, that was so an interesting unfair. choice. When, when she rolled, it was like a 14, like 20 something to hit you. I was like, oh, fuck. Like, she rolled a 16, and it was a 25 to hit. Yeah, she I was had like, a plus 9 to hit. She had a 23 strength. What were you thinking? I don't know. She's 15 feet tall. I don't know. What I was we thinking. were thinking, we didn't really want to fight these things. Then why no. did he sign up for it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I just wanted to fight something. I The thing that I think uh, decided Carmen was the rocks going over the wall. Like, innocent bystanders were dying. Yeah. Not just soldiers. Yeah. Why why one on one after the fact? Oh, I don't know why. <laughs> that just, was I definitely was... the weirdest call of the game. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. That's going to be my thorn. I would have liked to see the combat actually happen, where you guys harry them and probably take out one or two at least before they break down the doors, hopefully. You said guards with you. You could have pushed us a little bit with that. I didn't want to push you because it's an open-ended sure. game. Yeah. Right. And I felt like the rocks was cheese. pushing enough. Yes, please. <coughs> I was like, okay. Significant. I think it. I think it deterred us, if anything, from, from fighting. Yeah, yeah, because we didn't want the whole town to go to rubble, because that's what would have happened. I was highly debating on taking shots as soon as they started throwing yeah, rocks, see? but I I was gonna do a group fight for sure, and then he volunteered himself as tribute. And I was like. <laughs> I guess we're going to have the barbarian on the front lines <laughs> taking half of the damage. That's what I should I should have been like, mm -hmm. he'll you. fight you for the ring. <laughs> heal, heal, heal. Yeah, heal, no heal. heal. <laughs> and he's not telling you to come closer. Uh, he's actually telling. 
I'm gonna say my rose. The um rose. I kinda like the ring plot line. It's not in the module, so that was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. And it definitely changed the scope of what was supposed to happen. And I like that. I like that there's still enough open endedness of the game where you guys can do whatever you wanna do, regardless of the stupidity. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking at you. Yeah, that's fine. I like the fact that you can pick and choose and you get a bunch of quests that you can either do or not do. That's it for me. Go ahead, Josh. I want to hear your Rosenthor. Um, let's see. Rose, I can't believe we're heroes after that happened. Like, I was like, <laughs> let's let him throw three rocks and then beat the shit out of me and we'll be heroes. Like, that's kind of epic. But <laughs> I guess... Like, the Giants didn't breach the wall, so everybody's happy. But it was kind of cool feeling like a hero. Uh, the <laughs> And the spectacular ass-kicking that I got, while vicious and short, was also kind of fun. That was like, I was like, okay, this is happening. Um, Thorn, I thought uh, Sarek was going to be, like, a different guy when we got there. And he was all like, I'm a limb dish rag that's sad about my life, and... I love Torn, but I can't fight. And I was like, what the fuck, man? Like, for real? So that was a little weird. I feel well, like he was Brian kneecapped him. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. I don't know. I just I I felt like work. I didn't know how he fit into the story, and I never really figured out how he fit into that situation. Because he seemed like he didn't ma like match what was going on really well. But there's probably more of a story there that I just didn't find. I'm sure. To me, he seemed like the unfortunate child of an adventurer who kind of was interested in adventuring, but not enough to go out and, and risk do his it. Life. Yeah, like he had a short sword, but <laughs> obviously it was not made of really stern stuff. <laughs> you found that out for <laughs> yeah. Bow, bow. He's like, Ugh. I'm like, oh, just stay here, lad. You're <laughs> fucked up. Um, I don't know. I didn't, but I, there wasn't. It wasn't super thorny. It was more like I had a good time. This game. It was a good game. I had to pick that thorn. I don't know. I like. I have nothing really horrible to say about this game. I don't really have a certain thorn. It's hard to put into words. Um, I think I'm opposite of you, Ryan. I think I I like the openness and I like the open world, but at the same time, like I also <laughs> want to like not have it so, so open that we're like not ever going to be on track with anything. Right. Cause I want to, if, if we're going to do this, if we're going to be involved in a, in a, a module, um, I like, you know, I want to see it to the end then. Right. And I want, like, I want to be able to see what these authors of a can or the module are trying to tell the story that they're trying to tell. So, like, so far, we'll never step We back. haven't seen any <laughs> can except for maybe the Harpers and a little bit of the, um, the order. The, the or, like, and the so we've seen uh, the giants and dragon mm -hmm. conflict. Mm -hmm. So, Pieces we're seeing like little sp spots of it. So, it makes it feel like it's in this world, but I still don't feel like there's. I think the thing you're missing is multiple DMs can run the same module and you'll have a completely different experience. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. So it's not necessarily that, you know, you give us open endedness that it creates a difference. It's going to be different no matter what. Yeah, right. if I ran so, it, it would be a different game. Yeah. Well, right. I, die. <laughs> no, I, I I understand that, but I just don't Maybe. feel like we have the giants take the ring. They're coming in anyway. <laughs> you don't have a defined goal yet. Yeah. Right. Next job next stop, Humblestone. But that's actually the way it's designed. Sure. Until it isn't. You're it's, poor. Except I think we're supposed to stop at Hundlestone first and then come to there. Bear bar. Yeah, that wasn't even technically part of the module either. Mm. Like, there's things that are laid out that you can do. Like, Hundlestone's in there to describe things, and this attachment to Bodor is there. But you shouldn't have found out about it until after this, um, well, battle. I guess I was going to say battle. There should have been a battle, and you would have found out about it from Beldora after the battle. Hmm. But you found out about it beforehand because he had an attachment to the Harpers, which I think makes it more interesting. Sure. Mm -hmm. 
I don't. I don't know. What's your rolls? Um, kneecapping Sirik. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, Josh going one on one with the giant. Watch him <laughs> get his ass kicked. It like, was epic. Yeah, epic ass kicking. You know, it does feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Just putting this out there that in D and D, there's so many times oh. and so many fights where you guys are so tough, where I feel like I never get to do any mm-hmm. damage to you and mm-hmm. make it stick. But oh my god, <laughs> fight this a was, giant at level five and it this sticks. The this shit was like the me. role reversed of a, a goblin. This is what it feels like when a goblin comes to fight us. Like, mm-hmm. Right, the uh, goblin's like, I think sure? I can. Oh fuck! This is, oh, <laughs> I'll challenge you one on one. Okay, <laughs> slap, slap, done. Go ahead, yes. Alex. Uh, well, I'll say my rose, which I feel like there's always one of these where after somebody says a rose or a thorn, everyone's like, oh, yep, yep, that's definitely it. I should have changed mine to that. We're alive again is my rose. Yep. We're all together in the same yep. room for once, and we can actually interact. Yep. I can read your facial expressions. Yep. Magnanimous. Magnanimous. <laughs> you are very magnanimous. That's a free one. <laughs> it's not you, Brian. It's not you. I generously stopped you from saying it again. <laughs> you are not magnanimous. <laughs> uh, so that's my rose. Uh, I'll say my thorn is despite one of us having combat. There was no combat, but then again, it's better than having a halfway into combat and then having to cut it. So I think, I think it was good. Got the uh, the storyline mostly taken care of. Now we know exactly where we're going next, and got a good direction for next game. Right. All uh, right. So roses and thorns. Am I? I'll start with Thorn. There are some times when I just want to do a thing. It's not really a big deal. And then you have to roll for it. And it's like, oh, I don't do the super simple thing. Like, I can't. But I I can't fucking Nancy (laughs) Kerrigan some nobody in the kneecap. Or I can't teach kids Gust. Or I can't have my super sneaky spider follow him home he's a magic and it's like all right all these things just didn't work so that's that's a a part of the beast um of 5e but um whatever um so for roses though i think I think it's my like f- that you reference Nancy Kerrigan. I mm-hmm. wonder how many people at home get that. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I bet you feel old. <laughs> yeah, I, I am probably too old for that. Yeah, I was like, oh, brutal. Uh, I, th- I had a couple different... I think it was like an overall rose. But um, probably the the best part... My favorite scene was definitely seeing Duvessa and Markham in the sheriff's office. I don't know exactly what I liked about that. Um, maybe it's just because I got to read a book and be rude. <laughs> but um, it, was, uh, <laughs> was it, was, say, it was awesome. I think that was probably my least favorite part of the game. So <laughs> I was just like, this is just pointless. We came here for a job because we heard there was going to be a job and there was... Nothing there. No goddamn job. Yeah, yeah that kind of. Which is why you get to do whatever to fill in the time. I got a book. <laughs> yeah, that I didn't have to pay for. Mm-hmm. Nice. Well, yeah, in the end, didn't have to. Pay for. <laughs> cleared the tab. <laughs> That's right. Mm-hmm. Maybe she get beat up by giants more often. Too bad the book wasn't magical. Could have given it to that guy. Let me know. If... Yeah, he's got old snarls still. He hasn't even given it back. Mm-hmm. No. Well, whatever. Oh, uh, whoops. Something to read. <laughs> this city I'm Something to read on the way out. We <laughs> <laughs> got three days journey. I, I liked the overall session. We'll see if uh, Belladonna can keep his face out of a book. Beldora. <laughs> Belladonna. <laughs> you guys keep changing. <laughs> Belinda. 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 <laughs> Belligerent. <sighs> well, thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you for coming over. It's still, or when we get to finally come back to live, it's nice to be back. Mm. Obviously, we'll go back to digital 
if we get another quarantine or if one of us gets sick and still wants to play or something, mm -hmm. as long as it's not too serious, if one no, of us yeah. is a COVID quarantine, we'll go back to digital. Oh, At least man. we now have the resources to do it. And the know-how. And the know-how. Already set up. I don't have any other announcements. I guess if you guys want to join our Discord channel, there's a link below the video. You can come join us if you want to join the YouTube. We have all our videos there archived. We have uh, music videos on there as well. All the music you hear in the background you can use for your own games. And that's all I got. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next week. Peace.